a sacrifice seduced for the altar of your vanity. A jealous, hungry God craving praises of profanity. With bedroom dark and dine and a deep mouth stained with wine, it drinks. It's filled. It was your mother's, much your brother's, that agreed to feed you poison. This egregious lack of choice indeed seemed fit to join your voice in. With lies disguised as prizes of reason and wisdom, with briberies of finery to weaken any criticism. Can the fly invade the blossom that devours it? Well, welcome back, guys. It's uh, uh, ready for game. It's session 87. Um, we are at, uh, as far as the timeline is concerned, um, we're going to fast forward a week after um, last session ended. So recover willpower points. We'll mark off blood points. And uh, let's just say that uh, Decius and... Uh, Albina have been busy doing some personal stuff. Um, Decius has been recruiting some um, stuff to help the cult and do some personal things. Um, Albina did some abyssal sorcery stuff. And let's start with uh, Nicodemus in the. Uh, da, 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 I'm sorry about that. In the week of. Uh, since you guys have been together last as a group. Before we do that, has it been like a month since the party? What party? Uh, the party oh. I did. Would I recover temporary resources? No. It's been a it's been a week since then. Actually, it's been like eight uh, eight or nine days. So no, it's not been a month. Okay. I oh, know. I take that back. We did. We did skip a little bit, didn't we? Um, no, we didn't. We just, we only skipped a couple of days. So yeah, it's only been like nine days, nine or ten days. All right. Uh, Nicodemus, since you have been diving into the stash of books that um, was sent to you, I need you to make a willpower roll of uh, difficulty eight. Give me two. Oh, by the way, uh, during this time we hunted normally during the week. Uh, we'll go ahead and make a hunting roll too, um, before we really get started in the game. Okay. Mm. Excellent. All right. I'm making hunting rolls. Uh, so that was your willpower roll. Um, you uh, read his the Book of Sharpur. Uh, one thing you notice is that it's written in ver many various dialects. It's got several different styles of uh, cuneiform that it's written in, several different languages, along with many notes written in Greek. So to fully get the full benefit, you're going to have to learn some uh, a few different styles of uh, cuneiform language. Okay, Nicodemus only knows one. Sumerian only. Yep. Uh, and so there's a couple of different uh, versions of it. So uh, you can seek out some tutors who will um, help you learn it. All right. Um, In the meantime, you let's have the Nicodemus make a hunting roll, and then he will meet with um, Vivlia or Libris, depending on what you want to call him. As a hunting pretty, roll. Yep. 
Mm-hmm. As it's pretty obvious that neither one of those is his actual name. He just answers to them. Okay. Yeah, let's go see him. Uh, we haven't yet spoke after returning from, from Athens. Correct. So he did... Uh, he did send you a letter through the collegium that he needed to speak to you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Nicodemus will respond to it finally by saying, uh, actually, what would be better? Probably it would be better to send at least a two nights earlier information that uh, he would visit him. Um, he actually, he um, mentioned that he would come to, as the uh, letter mentioned, uh, said to you, he said he would come to the Collegium so that you didn't have to travel out there. Oh, that's, yeah, yeah. okay. Uh, I, so I, su- I assume he named a specific date. Well, the two of you corresponded back and forth, mm-hmm. you know, settled on a date, and so on and so forth. Yeah. All right. So I see four successes. Um, you are at your domain. Your um, the Collegium uh, Medicus, um, which is near the Temple of Escapulus, uh on that island in the Tiber River. Um, there are many Can healthy. The... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, I was going to ask if there's any kind of possibility for kindred hospitality, uh, so like offer him some fresh blood from patients that perhaps aren't uh, aren't well wouldn't be too much harmed by it um yeah since you don't have herd what you can Mm -hmm. do is give him permission to hunt and then he can take Mm -hmm. advantage of the uh domain dots Mm mm-hmm okay that sounds reasonable right so there are many people on the island uh, that are served in the temple and in the collegium. Uh, many slaves who are serving out their uh, burden of service there. There are, uh, of course, many sick people, uh, many people there to get, uh, there are many rich people that come there to get treatments. Um, so there's plenty of people there. You know your way in and out of this island, you know every corner of it. Um, you slip through a uh, unlocked door of the surgery and you go to where the slaves would sleep, the slaves who are working off their debt burden. Um, you know you're going to be undisturbed. Uh, you walk up on um, several of them sleeping in the room and you can take their arm and sink your teeth into them as they sleep peacefully. That's fair. Typically, Nicodemus would uh, uh, would only take um, uh, as much as he needs without endangering, endangering the man's life. Right, and you do so. You have easily feed enough to completely sate all of your hunger. Uh, all that's left is to tamp down the urging of your uh, inner beast to just drink and be greedy. To drink because you can, not because you need to. Afterwards, uh, leaving the men uh, to sleep off their uh, weakness, you head uh, for the surgery. And you see Vivlia waiting there. Um, Obviously, he hasn't changed, still dressed the same, still looks like a skinny, reedy college professor, a university teacher. Um, He's been waiting patiently for you, stands, greets you cordially. Um, Nicodemus, thank you for seeing me in your domain. Ah, Vivlia, it's, it's always a pleasure to see you. In fact, I don't recall you ever visiting this place as this actually is my first time here 
uh, we all knew of your connection. Uh, I figured it was the polite thing to do to contact you through here rather than trying to reach you through your other personal ventures. Oh, that that's all fine. Uh, that that that's all fine. I wouldn't have mind, uh, especially that your your domain is quite exquisite. Uh, in my eyes, um, since 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 it since it stands as it is, perhaps you would uh, you would be interested in a little tour about several uh, several facilities here in the Collegium. It's not too big, and we wouldn't have too much room uh, because we shouldn't be disturbing those who are still uh, finishing up. Um, and uh, while we discuss, I could uh, show you some, some of the things we work on. Uh, I would very much enjoy that. Please then. Should you should you uh, should you desire to uh, to say to yourself, uh, I believe some some uh, we can arrange that. I will probably take you up on your generous offer. Well, please, uh, uh, please lead the way. Uh, certainly, and uh, with a gesture gesture of this hand uh, to like. Uh, he uh, Nicodemus uh, leads uh, Vivlia through the, through the uh, begins leading him through the various chambers. Uh, the aim is to see like the breakdown, how the procedures are uh, are being done, some of the tools that are being used, some of the precautions and modern inventions that have been incorporated into the medicinal use, w without obviously disturbing uh, the personnel if any. Uh, is still about. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, there's oh, a few men still there, um, setting a few broken bones, um, patching up people that have stumbled across the bridges uh, with cuts and scrapes from getting in fights. Um, laborers there to get uh, foot problems looked at, um, trying to uh, get their pain healed. Uh, men there because they can't breathe. Uh, there's even a few um, autopsies going on, some corpse dissections of the uh, the young students are uh, doing so, uh, making notes on the slate, uh, making uh, diagrams of what they find, and so on. Uh, it's not a hive of activity like it would be during the day, uh, but those few still here working are the most dedicated. And you can tell they are all very tired. They're sleepy. They don't work in shifts here. They just work as long as they can before they go to sleep. Um, he asks a few questions as you are walking along. Um, questions that to you would be obvious. Uh, it's uh, He is no surgeon. Um, talks to you about your uh, gardens, where you get your herbs. Um, how many people may have uh, uh, died or how you found just the right mixture of pain-killing um, concoctions, uh, things like that. Nicodemus would happily oblige his questions. Um, as you can see, then, we have an alarmingly, perhaps, um, increasing number of minor to major injuries from various brawls. It seems that the uh, volatility of Rome is increasing, partially due to political tensions. And so we were forced to come up with several new mixtures to help the healing of the wounds and uh, clean them up as soon as possible. Uh, Numerous problems uh, arise from the fact that many of those young men that come here uh, pretend to uh, not be affected by their injuries until it becomes severe. And more often than, and very often it so happens that there is little uh, 
that we can do to them because the, effect, the infection is already spreading. If they're lucky, lucky we can amputate their limbs. And if they're not, well, it's, it, it, let's just say that uh, um, not all endings have, are, are happy ones. But you might notice this device here. We have specifically requested it from the blacksmith. It's to uh, pro precisely sever the bone of the infected limb. It has, hmm, it's, it's been an increased use lately. How so? Uh, I would not have thought, given that most of the uh, wars are on far outside France uh, that uh, probably wouldn't be seeing as much use. And yet uh, the populace finds, uh, finds ways to deal hard with the cells, even without the need of an exterior enemy. Uh, so true. Well, Thank you for the tour. I uh, appreciate you walking me around the island, but uh, onwards to business. Um, I'm here to oh, seek yeah. out and uh, um, cash in some favors. Um, after mm -hmm. many years of effort, I have perfected the astrolabe. I believe you have the sample that uh, that I gave you. Oh, yes. I've, I've been playing with it. I've been trying its use. I had some some minor successes in using it. Hi. Right. Well, good, because I've made some minor modifications to it, and I believe that it's now time to uh, arrange somebody to help me convince the Pontifex Maximus to adopt my astrolabe to the temples. I seek to um, convince them to use my invention and in return uh, be awarded a permanent salary and patronage. You know, all of my efforts, um, I've allowed my domain and my farm, the people who come to study, it's fallen into disrepair. Uh, there's just the people that they don't want to stay anymore. And if I want to attract and retain uh, talent, they must be uh, compensated. It sounds reasonable. And I, and I don't see a reason why it wouldn't be to their benefit to accept it and incorporate its use. Well, good. As a fellow scholar, I thought you would appreciate that. Um, that's why I am approaching you for help. And in helping to also verify any new scholars that might be eager to learn these secrets and advance our knowledge. Okay. Uh, do you have any, uh, uh, any, any plan, uh, any, any idea? Or do you merely wish me to attempt uh, in trying to persuade all the parties that might be interested? Well, I've kind of spent all of my time doing this. So I lack real social connections here in the city. I, I know some, a few, but I'm not connected to the mortals, not in the way that you are. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, I believe that temples are not my expertise, but I know some people. I can try to to arrange a discussion. Uh, perhaps, uh, perhaps. Uh, but I I believe that a demonstration and more technical uh, explanation, as well as uh, examples of practical use for them would be quite important to, to have at the ready. Well, that I can provide, um, but arranging the audiences, I cannot provide. 
Um, let's discuss price. We talked in depth a few years ago about your curiosity, how I manage my, shall we say, inner demons. Are you still interested in learning how I do it? Yes, definitely. In return for your efforts to do all that you can to help me get accepted and uh, obtain that which I'm seeking, uh, I will teach you the secrets of how I manage my um, inner monster. Uh, sounds like a good deal. I, I accept. Um, I've... Mm, I'll have a thought of how, how to approach this subject best. Um, and we'll try to provide you with success as, uh, as quick, as swiftly as possible. Excellent. I will endeavor to uh, meet you here uh, whenever you need to talk. Just send word, you know where I stay. Um, I... Mm, let's start with the... Uh, I would require, preferably in written form, a brief description of the device and how do you how do you believe it would help uh, help the temples? Because you said temple specifically, or do you do you not care where it is used? Well, no, I don't care. But uh, mostly, the temples are going to find use in predicting the days, the months, um, finding when they need to add to the calendar, as they sometimes do, and. Mm -hmm. uh, there are rare occasions when the moon becomes blacked out. And I have found by working backwards that I have made it work. It is It can accurately predict them backwards. Uh, I have yet to see if it will make it forwards, but I believe it will. Mm-hmm. Um... Do you believe there will be an obstacle, a purely practical obstacle, in the fact that it requires a person skilled in its use to um, make the necessary calculations? I think that once somebody is trained and they see its usefulness, they will be eager to learn it. Look at the populace at large, and he just kind of like gestures. The next time uh, the oracles step forth and they say that the moon or the sun will become blacked out on this date, and it does, what will that do for them? Do you think the mortals, I believe they will simply bow down and accept? It will certainly add credibility to their sermons. And perhaps there is merit in this that... Uh, Whichever whichever temple adopts it first will have an advantage over the others. Well, plus the Romans do have a great appreciation for the work of Pythagoras um, and Archimedes. Uh, they had no trouble adopting their techniques for warfare. I believe they will uh, be quite happy to adopt this as well. All is clear, and uh, I'll get to it as, uh, as, soon, as, uh, as soon as possible. Excellent. I will eagerly await your word. Um, Vivile, I will hunt before he goes, um, and then okay. he will leave peacefully. Yeah, Nicodemus will 
like make sure no scandal is about is afoot while giving him privacy. He feeds in much the same way you did. He looks for people who are asleep and pretty much in private. Or as private as it gets on this island anyways. Okay. Right. Uh, where where are we at this at this time of uh, of this time of week? Is there still things to be done that can be done? Ah, uh, well, what are you trying to do? Uh, so first, Nicodemus wanted to. I wanted to uh, finally get in touch with those two salubri. Ah, very good idea. How are you going to do that? Um, hmm, I'm not sure if they are in the Elysium, but that's they would be in Elysium, but that's a good place to start, I believe. Um, roll intelligence and politics. I do recall that uh, there, there's been a news that uh, Julia Anastasia, uh, that they were hooked up to her. Oh, well, then you don't her. have to roll it, because that's what you were going to remember. <laughs> okay, uh, I guess then the reasonable course of action would be to, in the Elysium, try and contact someone from her brood, then and ask them before going to her directly. Ah, well, you have the connections and the venture status that um, even if it's not um, immediate, uh, they can tell you where to talk to her. Um, she being a major player on the uh, road of humanity uh, and a constant thorn in the side of uh, the princeps is usually found trying to figure out what the hell he's up to next so that she can do something about it. So that means she is basically watching um, wherever she can, uh, watching what he's doing. So let's say um, she is uh, agrees to meet you at a at the a temple on the Capitoline Hill. It's a small temple, um, public place. Uh, but it is nearby many of the princess holdings, princesses holdings. The uh, actual god uh, is of no relevance or importance to this conversation. Mm -hmm. Right, so uh, show up to the uh, temple. It's getting quite late at night, prior, maybe one o'clock in the morning. Uh, the people around you, the Capitoline Hills, well appointed. It's uh, rich. You leave the valley where uh, buildings close in on top of each other. There's only a narrow strip of sky to see the sun during the day, and the buildings open up. The alleys open up. Uh, there's a few shops where you can tell they've closed for the night. The, the kind of shops where the ground floor is the shop. Above the uh, ground floor is where the, the owners live. Um, you're getting to be a slightly better neighborhood. You don't have to worry about getting knifed in the dark or having somebody throw pots of uh, waste or anything on top of you as you walk alongside the building. Uh, you um. come to the marble steps uh, and you see her standing, uh, leaning against a pillar, 
Uh, there's a couple of hanger-ons near her to make sure she's undisturbed. Mm, is it reasonable idea to bring a gift for this kind of like small meeting? It's not an official audience, but then again, she's a she's a primary prime prime player. Um, it's not wrong not to bring a gift. But she'd take it nicely if you did. Yeah. Um, what's, what seems to be Julia Anastasia's take on humanity? I, I, I don't think it's through poetry and art. How, how does it work for, for, for her venture, for, for her? Is it public knowledge, how, how she conducts herself and I mean, what kind of stuff she likes? She sponsors um, anything that helps people hold on to what it means to be human. Public works, art, philosophy, uh, salons, anything that keeps people involved with uh, being near and around humans and human behavior. So during during uh, during Nicodemus's visit to Athens and where he learned about Greek Greek theater, he must have possibly stumbled upon some some interesting plays. Was there an opportunity to to copy something? Just uh, uh, or, or, or to get hands on this? Probably not copy, but in all honesty, you're Greek. You've heard many of these plays. It would not be a... and you have a really good academics. So it would not be a stretch for you to write one down from memory, and since you've had training in Greek drama, um, to fill in the gaps, as it were, to produce uh, for her a Greek play uh, and to tell a famous tale and where you don't remember the exact uh, writing and words, fill it, fill it in yourself. That's not a bad idea. So, well, yeah. That's what a lot of the original Greek storytellers did. Oh, what? I mean, that, that's, that's oral tradition. What you don't yeah. remember, you fill in yourself. Uh, and like oh, oh yeah oh yeah that's that's a fair point yeah uh, okay so let's let's try to write something down preemptively and uh, preferably something that revolves about uh, uh, deep emotions that and the and the changing nature of of humanity of humans like perhaps something that made the character traverse from one personality to another uh, due to some traumatic events. Um, the Twelve Labors of Hercules is always a good one for that. Let's go with that, probably with some, with some dramatic flair. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, is there a role involved? Um, I was not going to make you roll, uh, simply because you have such uh, amazing academics and the training to do it. Um, if you want to roll, you can. Otherwise, I would treat it as a roll with two successes. Uh, okay. Can you can you can you repeat the? Uh, mm. It, 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 the subject, it was uh, about uh, Hercules. So, if you want to make a roll, let's roll uh, wits and academics. Uh, you, you said I don't need to. So no, you don't need to roll. Um, the Twelve Labors of Hercules. Twelve Labors. Okay, yeah, that's... Okay, I thought I heard something else, so I wanted to make sure. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm, mm -hmm. So with this in hand, uh, he would uh, he would come uh, to the meeting, and uh, he would 
gracefully inject her, himself to her presence to not alert okay. her. Yep. So um, oh, she's so waiting I... on you. So they they wave you forward. Um. Uh, what 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 should be her title used for? Um, she doesn't have a title. It's just um, Julia Antasia. Okay. Uh, Nicodemus. Ah, uh, okay. Not because he's a Greek, so he's in doubt. And uh, states. Uh, oh, actually, he should. She should be talking first, I guess, unless she's waiting for any kind of reaction. Well, no. Um, you approach. She's there waiting. Um. Uh, Julia, she's got a reputation for being a cold bitch. I mean, you can't lie about this. She's a hard woman. Um, but she's a hard woman for a purpose. To keep uh, people on a hard road uh, in Rome. Because uh, as all of you have found, it's extraordinarily difficult not to kill, not to to thieve, um, not to stab people in the back. Um, it's a hard road to walk. Mm -hmm. No doubt about it. I guess she's double the bitch to the to those who break those rules so easily. Um, so, to those who seek her favor and and are her um, clients, um, she's got a reputation as. Someone who doesn't put up with any of your bullshit. Um, to everybody else, because she has to be delicate. Um, she's a good negotiator. So she's cold, she's polite, she's ventrue. Okay, I get the picture. So she's standing there, back straight, proud, simple clothing, um, blue and green uh, robes draped over her. Her hair is up in the Roman style. Um, simple jewelry of pearls. Uh, she does not look supernaturally good. Uh, you'd say probably appearance four. She's pretty. Uh, but she's got the, an attitude of, uh, about her as she looks that she is the master of all she surveils. But I'll venture to do that. <laughs> so they wave you forward, and she looks at you, and she sees you approach out of the dark. Hmm. Uh, you broke off. They wave you forward. She sees you oh. approaching. Okay, does she say anything or? Okay, so it looks like she wants me to start. Yeah, uh, okay, she wants you to start. Not, uh, not not politely, and he and he states, "Good evening, Julia Anastasia. Thank you for meeting, uh, for agreeing to this meeting at this unfortunate hour." Um, it regrets me that we don't have chance to. Uh, it regret. I regret that I do not have uh, chance to uh, to see your uh, to see your uh, what's the word uh, to see your exquisite presence uh, more often. Uh, and I am pleased to see that you are in in good health. Oh, Nicodemus of Thebes. Uh, when I received your request, uh, given your long and distinguished service to Artemis, I could hardly uh, decline. Uh, thank you for your po uh, polite greeting and wish, wish for my health, and I am glad to see that you also are um, in good health this evening. Such are the nights that permit us uh, to, to, to continue on this conduct. Fortunately, uh, we owe this to uh, we owe this to uh, the stalwart uh, 
to the stalwart uh, guiding hand of our betters and the uh, the the superiors of our kind. Mm, please accept this small token. It's a it's a retelling of the famous uh, Greek uh, tale of Hercules and his twelve labors. This one is perhaps a bit too elaborate on the on the uh, stable labor, uh, but nonetheless, it is a I found it a quite enjoyable read, and I hope it will to be your case as well. Um, she accepts it, and she she kind of weighs it in her hand. She says, "Like, well, this is a uh, rather hefty um, document." I I take it you've had some experience uh, performing stable labor. I had on occasion, and I do not shame, uh, and I do not shy away from it. For work builds, and it is a, it can be a shaping and guiding principle for one's conduct. Taking care of stables can teach more than physical lessons. It's something I recommend all canines do. It teaches perseverance, teaches you the importance of maintaining the health and well-being of those who look to you for protection. Indeed, and there's more. If an unruly stable can, see, can be seen as uh, a seed of chaos, then a cleaned up stable can be seen as an echelon of order. So the ability to transform chaos into order is what distinguishes from uh, from randomness and uh, and uh, succumbing to uh, to to a state of being no better than an animal. It teaches diligence. I'll say that. Um, she tucks the scroll uh, behind her uh, belt at her back. She actually has to loosen up the uh, rope tie to, to, to get it snug back there. And she says, uh, so now, uh, what can I do for you tonight? What brings you to my ear? Ah, uh, yeah. Um, yes, the business of hand. Um... It has reached my ears that uh, some time ago, a two celebrity have entered your service. Um, I've only had brief contact with them, if if it could, could have been even called a contact. But yet I would would have wished to uh, to converse with them and uh, and. Uh, form a connection as one clanmate to another. Um, I, was, I, I, I was hoping you would tell me where to find them. Oh, I don't keep track of them, but uh, if you would like to meet them and talk to them, uh, I can arrange I can pass word to them and let them know uh, you are still reachable at your domain, correct? Oh, of course. Any, any kind of missive will be easily um, accepted there and laid, passed, passed on to me. Good. Um, I will pass word that uh, when they are ready, they can send uh, a missive to you, let you know that uh, they are ready to talk to you. How would that mm. be? I would be most grateful. Good. That's settled then. How goes, your, uh, how goes your time with Alexander? Uh, Nicod uh, 
Nicodemus smiles, perhaps perhaps too widely, although it's it's well on purpose. I have to admit that my new patron is mm, providing a lot of a lot of interesting entertainment. His penchant for uh, for art uh, and theater specifically has been most enchanting, and I cannot cannot complain. Well, good for you. I'm glad you found someone who fits your sensibilities and uh, not your fears. It does. There is there is much difference in this in this kind of approach. Uh, it feels like there can be order and chaos, and lessons perhaps lessens a burden that we all carry. Good. Well, in that case, I, have... um, I believe it's time I will have to bid you goodbye. I have other duties which require me to uh, set forth. Of course. Um... I am most grateful for the for the time you have uh, spared for me, and uh, and uh, and I will trouble you no more. I bid you a good evening, then. And a good evening to you. All right, um, oh. Labiana, what have you been up to in the last week? Is that is a very good question. Uh, I'll admit to not having thought about it terribly much, but um, I would suspect, though, uh, she would have at least followed um, sort of actions which pertain to uh, her learning more about. Uh, death as much as she possibly can. Um, um. Alright, well, as I recall, there was one task that you were asked to do um, that you haven't had a chance to start on yet, and you were asked to learn the first level of Healer Valerian. Ah, yes, of course. I'd forgotten all about that. <laughs> Have you thought about how you're going to do that? I don't. Probably not, right? No. Okay. That well, is a tricky one. I mean, we'll circle back around aside, to that one, then. So aside from asking uh, Nicodemus, uh, <laughs> but, um, that's actually a good question to ask him because I would like to hear his answer. I mean, at some point she'd probably want to at least sit down and have a discussion with him. Um, I mean, to see if it's even po something he might possibly um, do. See what he might want in return. Well, no time like the present. This is true. Well, I guess she might um, sort of say to him that uh, she would like to sit down and talk. Okay. Well, uh, you and Nicodemus are talking. Does it happen before or after meeting with Vivia? Uh, let's say right before. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, good, uh, good evening, Labiana. Mm, I understand you had business with me. What manner of things um, do you require uh, that, that is not relevant to our entire coterie? Uh, 
Good evening to you as well, Nicodemus. Um, I trust I find you in good health. Um, uh, you are correct. Uh, what I do uh, wish to discuss with you um, uh, does, uh, is not uh, relevant to the rest of the coterie. Um, I was actually uh, wondering if you might uh, might be um, not objectionable to uh, I guess helping me out in some small way compensating That's you uh, appropriately of course that's what friends are for in the twisted kind of meaning of this word as used by our kind so what is the small task you speak of mm, indeed well it does happen to uh, potentially involve uh, your abilities let's say um, I know, of course, that you have the ability to uh, garner uh, the condition of um, someone by looking at them closely. I guess you could say I am a little interested in how that works. Mm, GM, uh, this deal that Fozia made with Labiana, it was in Nicodemus's presence? Yes, it was. I think I recall that, and I think it was incorrect. Okay, so Nicodemus would, would say, hmm, is this about this, this deal, this exchange with Fozia that, uh, that uh, happened the other night? You wish me to partake in the in the in the gruesome experiments and uh, use the gift bestowed to me by Solid to uh, to push this knowledge forward. Um, I guess you could say it is um, somewhat related to that, and I guess you could also say that uh, it is more not so much to uh, involve you in um, what we're doing, but more so to ensure that uh, you are not involved in it. I mean, if we recall, uh, and knowing you as well as uh, myself and the other Coterie members do, uh, we understand how uncomfortable um, these types of experiments uh, or anything which risks uh, the lives of the mortals uh, makes you uh, feel well thank you for my concern the labiana it is uh, it is most touching that you have this in in mind um i i interpret this as your willingness to learn to learn this this particular gift because this is of the gift you speak of and not just medicinal knowledge that can also be used to diagnose the, the patient's condition, perhaps not as acutely as Fazia would want. Nonetheless, I, it is a quite, quite challenging thing to learn these powers and it requires some some changes that may doubtful, doubtfully be easy for you to to accept. Speaking of which, how do you find Fozia's experiments? They are quite uncompromising, I would say. Hmm. Yes, I would certainly uh, agree on that. However, um... 
I have come to a better understanding, I, I guess you could say, of um, why uh, her methods are so um, direct. I suppose for what we do um, and the reasons why we are doing them, it is necessary. Because why? the kinds of things that we can learn are um, well, I guess they are um, goodness, I just lost my train of thought there. <laughs> Um, yeah, they are. But well, well, they are what they are. <laughs> and how do you cope with this, with some of the finer aspects of it? I mean, she she basically abducts people of the street. That's one way a tourist masquerade, masquerade breach. And another thing is, they are that she's keeping them chained by day by days this is just not warping their minds with endless suffering without a care could you do that just chain a man to a to a wall and peel the flesh of him uh, peel his skin of his flesh strip by strip finger by finger just and see what happens can you do that Obviously, uh, out of character, Nicodemus would notice um, as he's describing all this stuff in such gruesome detail that uh, Labiana's expression uh, continues to remain uh, expressionless and that uh, none of that had affected her in the least. Whereas, uh, quite a while ago, um, back when she had more humanity, you might remember that um, it might have that kind of uh, imagery may have made her flinch just a little, um, and she re and she uh, responds. Well, basically, I have um, taught myself to focus on the end result, um, what it is that we are trying to uh, learn and the information that we are trying to get, like the wealth of information that we are trying to gather, that ultimately um, is the, oh, that is the prize. And that, I guess you could say, helps us uh, put all that out of our minds and do what needs to be done. I see. And you're not concerned over that the process of reaching this end goal may have an impact on yourself, that it may change you perhaps unwittingly into your perceptions. How do your recent nights fare, La Vienna? Do you hear the 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 beast roaring in your veins, perhaps too loudly? Oh, there is no doubt that uh, I do hear it, but I guess I have found a way to not so much ignore it, but again. Uh, found a way to um, how do I describe this put it aside I've become used to it I guess you could say put it uh, put I've... it aside oh sorry well I guess there was a time when uh, it would have been more distracting and I would have 
thought differently about our processes. But the more I've learnt, um, the more I guess I yearn to learn. Is all I can say. I guess the learning is so enticing. And the more I want to learn as a result. I understand. Although it's, it fascinates me that you're able to ignore, stave off, or mitigate the weakness that our kind suffers from from the early days. Is that some some sort of meditation that you perform, or is it truly the 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 pursuit of knowledge is just enough to to sate you and quell your beast? Well, I wouldn't say I necessarily um, uh, damn it, I've lost my train of thought again. <laughs> Out of character, you know when you, you when you had something perfect to say and then all of a sudden it's gone. <laughs> I hate those moments. Oh, yeah, it happens to me a lot. Um, anyway, I'll try and uh, recall it as best as I can. Um, alright, so, Babiena, at this point, um, sort of, you know, kind of looks thoughtful, as best as a rotting corpse can look, and uh, turns back to uh, Nicodemus to respond. Um, well, I wouldn't necessarily say that... I have uh, completely, that I completely ignore it. Um, I think what I meant, what I mean to say, or what uh, I can better describe it as, is I have learnt to live with it. I've learnt to better uh, understand its desires and therefore. Um, Uh, better cope with it when it does begin to uh, speak. And yes, indeed you are correct in the uh, the learning uh, is very much what helps with that. Um, the pursuit of knowledge uh, in a manner of speaking, is a uh, is what I suppose drowns it out in a way. At least enough to um, to do what uh, is required to attain such knowledge. Cold and detached then, focused entirely on the knowledge, uh, right for taking. I'm sorry, Labiana, but you, with this demeanor, you ask, you ask me, the, uh, the children, uh, the children, uh, the child of a clan founded by by Solot, who has who has made specifically our kind, our my ilk, for the purpose of preserving humanity, and uh, and it is by the extension of humanity that our gift is even possible to exist in the first place. You ask me to share this particular very humanity tied gift that requires a semblance of appreciation for humanity's warmth and uh, the vibrant force of life uh, to be 
to be transferred to you uh, in in order to continue your uncompromisable study. I'm afraid this is simply impossible and you would not understand the various details that are involved in the process of absorbing this this knowledge because this our gifts are are not scientific they are they are very very closely tied to tied to our souls our our hearts or whatever remains of them and you would just be impossible for you to learn them and i can tell you that no other salubri would wish to share this knowledge with you well i cannot i cannot uh, deny that i am um, for what it's worth um, sorry to hear that you do feel that way but at, at the same token I do completely understand um, I mean despite that the study of death generally uh, must involve some study of life as it were But there is more to life than just. Oh, sorry, thought you were done. Sorry, say again. Uh, no, continue. You had something else to say. More. Oh, um, I kind of can't remember what that is now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I can go on. If, uh, oh, okay. Uh, go on. Uh, there, there is more to study of life than just uh, than just existence. It is the uh, the the will, the strength of will, the manifestation of the soul, and the the uh, the radiance of passion. There is there is more to that, and it is by those principles that uh, that are are. Uh, powers can manifest. It is simply that I cannot see it in you to be able to comprehend them enough to 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 learn. Yes. Well. I guess as a, um, I can, yeah, I, I cannot say I'm um, really surprised uh, knowing you as well as I do that um, you would feel that way about, uh, I suppose, how I look at things now. It is, I suppose, the difference um, between you and I that I guess make it difficult to be able to see things from the other's point of view I guess even though there's uh, as much that can be learned in life that can be learned in death but Again, I completely understand uh, your reasoning. And uh, I thank you for uh, I thank you for uh, this uh, talking to me in any case and uh, I will let you get back to uh, whatever you are doing. There is a there, there is a way, however. An ulterior, an alternative way of handling this this problem that you that you have, and 
ultimately the deal with Ufazia, I believe it was that she wants this this particular power to be to be used in assistance of her experiments. What is not it matters little how it is involved. I um I would like to hear it. Uh, you would be surprised in how many aspects we are alike, Labiana. And as you have already hinted out, there is no death without life. And while you and Fozia are clearly mesmerized by the idea of death. I am too mesmerized by, I am mesmerized by the other side of the coin, life. And seeing as, and you, you probably noticed that uh, I've been involved in some of the stuff that Fozia involves herself with and that she relentlessly wants me on her experiments, even though, <laughs> Oh, she knows that I have my proclivities, but she wants me to step above them. Um, I propose the following deal. I will make myself available for, for um, pre-programmed sessions, specific times, and so that you, those studies can continue and progress with uh, with my assistance uh, and in return i i want you to help me with keeping this these experimentations in check i do not wish any mortal that doesn't deserve this fate to be subjected to those experiments i do not want the excessive suffering of them to strip them from their of their dignity too much and i don't want any children involved in this does that sound good Aviana will take a moment to ponder on uh, nicodemus's offer and he'll be a You'll periodically see her nodding. She'll turn back to him. I believe I can uh, agree to those terms. Excellent. I will. I will uh, I will return to you uh, with a possible more specific terms of how do we how do we find the subjects to the to to experimentations. Usually, probably we'll be looking for killers, thugs, those who those of ill repute. But those are details that will come into fruition. Yes, well, I know I, I certainly appreciate uh, any assistance uh, you can give us, and I'm, I'm certain uh, Falzia um, will also appreciate it as well. In fact, I know she will. I should think so. Um, it may be that my resolve will falter in those situations, and I hope that my um, my reluctance to continue in moment of weakness would be respected. Fazia cannot does not wish to acknowledge this, but. Oh, I, I certainly do, actually. Um, like I said, I feel like 
uh, well, I've known you for quite a while, uh, and I would definitely like to think that uh, as much as the other Coterie members uh, would be able to keep your um, uh, I guess you could say personal um, God, my wedding is terrible right now. <laughs> <laughs> Out of character. <laughs> um, but yes, I certainly... Uh, I could certainly do that. Excellent. Then we are in agreement. Um, and you can just as well inform Fazia that I am on board, as it were. All right, um, huh. hat ships it. This last week, what have you yep. been up to? Um, well, f first of all, I've been making sure to keep fed. Uh, just to make a note of that. All right, and I do need some uh, feeding rolls from uh, Labiana and um, hat ships it, and, Ooh, and Albany. I, so I was just gonna say, <laughs> I nearly forgot about that. Uh, so what have you been up to, uh, Hatchips? I see um, feeding there. I've mostly been, um, trying to feed the needs of the, um, of the cultists, trying to spend a bit more time with them than I, uh, even than I usually would, um, seeing what's going on in their lives and seeing if there are places where I could, where they're having issues that I could not necessarily solve outright because that might rob them of a lesson, but like help them help them overcome a, an issue they're facing. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're uh, working on building the relationship, All right? Um, trying to you know really cement that herd. You know, keep them involved. And also, um, if possible, um, like, just improving their overall situation, um, by extension, which by, by extension means that they can provide more for the cult. Right. Um, okay. I don't have any specific actions to do with that, so let's just go for your hunting scene here. Um, you're a seduction hunter, as I recall. E. Um, it's pretty dry. Uh, you're going through a dry spell. Just, just not being able to get anything going. Um, you do finally, uh, get one man to, uh, he is pretty well drunk. Uh, you pick him up off the street. Uh, he mistakes you for a, a woman of somewhat looser morals and, uh, opened a coin. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you would allow him to drag you to a uh, nearby alley to uh, do the dirty deed. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's been a while since you fed. You're kind of hungry. You can feel yep. the, the, the urge of, you know, that beast inside you is, ah, just take it. You know, this, this dirty man won't learn nothing. Just, just take it. Uh, you get going, as it were, and sink your fangs in. Um, do you attempt to avoid overfeeding on this man? I will attempt to resist the urge, yes, because okay. because it robs a potential student of lessons. Right. Uh, because of that, and because you're a masochist, and you do uh, enjoy, perversely enjoy, putting yourself through pain and struggles, um, we'll do a instinct roll um, of difficulty seven. Well, shit. Sorry, sorry, friendo. <laughs> Bloody pulp.
Yeah. Ooh, that sucks. <laughs> well, yeah, your your I'll beast is just like crowd. you know what? This dude's fat, he's drunk. Um Uh, what is your, um, road rating? I believe it is four, which I believe makes, is exactly the rating at which killing is a sin on the road of Lilith. Not killing, destroying a thinking being. Um, <clears throat> there's a difference. It's a subtle difference. True. Uh... So let's have a conscience roll, diff or a conviction roll, conviction. I should say. Difficulty six. Well, motherfucker. All right. Well, you can choose to lose an instinct or a conviction. Or it's not a conviction. A uh, You can lose a conviction or a road. I'll lose a road. Yeah, you, your your beast hungers. Uh, you feed. You begin to greedily suck down, um, suck down his blood, and he finally he tries to resist you. He's like, "Wait, wait, stop! Uh, what are you doing?" And he falls to his knees, and he, your teeth fall out of him for a second, and he, he has just a chance to beg for his life. And you're like, "You know, I've gone this far. Fuck it." Down he goes. You uh, drain them all. Uh, you pop up, sucking the last few droplets off your lips, making sure nothing's fell on on your blo on you clothes, and you look down and you're like, "Oh, shit!" Uh, yeah. Well, I got a body to dispose of. Yeah. You got any ideas for how you wanted to dispose of it? Okay, so we're currently we're still in an alley. Yeah, you're in a little secluded uh, spot, um, just around the corner, just out of sight. There's some uh, homeless people uh, bundled up. Um. How how far off is the uh, nearest um you know like how far off is like the river or nearest you know equivalent like you know uh, place to dump in the water? It'd be be, be a pretty tough haul um all the way to the water. It'd be pretty tough to to drag it all the way out there and not be seen. Um. Uh, do there happen to be any like, I don't know, just has someone happened to leave like a a large jar or something lying around? Oh, there's a bunch of trash heaps laying around. Um, okay. Out of curiosity, where where do you like to hunt? Zero, do you have a preferred feeding ground? I, I would think it would basically be somewhere that I know is relatively safe and where I wouldn't stick out too much. Okay. So, right, like, so you, don't, you don't like to hunt in, like, the markets or nothing, but, uh, you know, you're not in the, the worst of the slums either because that's where mm. the worst diseases are than the in the swampy areas, the low-lying areas, where everyone's crowded together, super tight. Um, actually, um, sim simple solution, relatively simple solution I can think of, um, because, yeah. What's your, do you have obfuscate? Um, no, but, no, um. I don't have obfuscate. Ooh. Yeah, like, it, I may not necessarily need to dispose of the body, so long as I can just make sure that it doesn't look too suspicious. Oh, it's going to look suspicious. 
But uh, so let me give you what. What are you thinking? Give me a, give me a quick one. What are you thinking? Um, basically, I'm thinking of um, like getting out a knife and like posing the body so it looks like he's just been mugged. He just yeah. got mugged. Okay, you can do the... that. Do a little little slice across his neck. Yeah. yeah take so... take the few coins in his uh, in his belt. Um, take his belt knife. Uh, maybe take his sandals. Um, give me a dexterity and stealth roll. Get the hell out of there without drawing too much attention to yourself. I am going to spend a willpower. Awesome. Um, as far as anyone is concerned, you're pretty certain. You're ninety nine percent certain this this guy's gonna be. He just picked a, another wrong woman. Mm -hmm. They're gonna find his body with his uh, with the twig and berries out, and draw the obvious conclusions. Mm -hmm. But it isn't necessarily gonna be traced back to me. Which right. Is exactly. The... Which is the point. Yeah. All right. Um, Albana. You, as well, are a seduction hunter. Um, it's also a little bit dry for you. Uh, for some reason, people seem to be partied out lately. Um, you do manage to uh, find a, a party which you are able to catch a couple of people's eyes and draw them away for some fun. Um, you start with the first one. Um, how much, how hungry are you? I am down to 90. Okay, so you, you're you're a little bit hungry, a little peckish. Um, I'll have a uh, self-control or roll or instinct roll from you at uh, we'll say difficulty five. All right, yeah, you uh, you refrain you. Take however much you want to take from the first guy. How much would you like to take? Since they need a fatality, trying to kill him, she's just going to be taking two for him. Just two, okay. Um, it whets your appetite. It's like having a nice appetizer. Um, takes the edge off, uh, so you're not you're not you know really starving, but but you're ready to to feed a little bit more. Um, you. Uh, Draw a couple more people off. You take a little here. You take a little there, um, and you make your way out of there. Four blood points richer. Awesome. And uh, La Biena, uh, ambush predator. Um, you are out and about doing your thing. Uh, you find a man uh, stumbling away from a uh, stumbling away from work. He's got a uh, bun in his hand, full of some uh, some sort of soup, some sort of bread bowl. He's eating. Um, stealthily walk up behind him, and how do you take him? You're you're an ambush predator. You got a weapon in your hand. Well, see, I've been thinking about this. Like, normally, obviously, you know, she's the, the bash over the head kind of thing. Drag him into an alley uh, and do the deed. But, um, the feeding. I guess I've been thinking of, um, sort of, whether or not she might start trying different types of ambush. Like, in, in some cases, uh, prevent like the blow to the head like last time um, and you know just you know sneak up grab from behind drag them into the alley okay so um, you're still using a weapon for this one and what you do this time you uh, get close behind him he doesn't hear you um, approaching rapidly you take your knife out and you wrap your arm around his neck and you put the blade 
um, up under his chin as he's about to take a bite um, of his of his bread bowl, and and he stops dead. Just stop, and he feels the cold steel on his neck, um, and he just says, "I don't want to die. You can have the rest of my food." Well, as they're standing there. Yeah, come on, just just take it. Just I I here. You can you can have the rest of this. I I don't need it. Bubby and I will sort of get close to the. Uh, you can keep that, and then we'll just start uh, dragging him to the closest uh, secluded spot or alley. All right, yeah, you give him a little tug, you, you poke him a little bit in the neck um, so that indicate you want him to walk backwards. Um, he does, he's like shuffles his feet and he's going over the uneven ground. You're kind of half dragging and half, you know, half intimidating him with the knife blade up to a wall. You get him around the corner, you're pretty confident nobody's there. And then you sink your teeth in? Yes. All right. How much would you like to drink from this man? First off, how much are you down? Oh, um, well, I took into account uh, how much I was down at the beginning of the session, and then uh, you mentioned that it had been a week Yep. Um, since then as well. So I'm actually down about 10. All right. Well, you know, you are got a recently decent-sized blood pool. You're not, not terribly... You know, not ravening hungry. Um, let's have a self-control roll from you. Let's say difficulty five again. Okay. Um, self-control diff five, you say? Yep. <clears throat> Excuse me. Awesome. Yeah, you, you can stop. You can leave this man alive. You can just whet your appetite. How much would you like to take from him? Now, um... You make this a conscious choice. I suppose, unless I give this given her appetite, she is willing to risk taking three? Okay. Well, he just ate. Um, he's feeling pretty decent. We'll give him a little bit of a bonus here. Ooh, uh -oh. um, he's having a heart attack. Um, he had a weak heart, didn't realize it. Uh, you you bite in and feed, and he had a mouthful of food, and he starts choking. <coughs> and as you uh, feed, and you're lost in the delicious feeling, um, he goes down. And his face is turning blue, and you can hear him <coughs> trying. Uh, Body's kind of shaking and, and, and jerking. Yeah, I was going to say, I think um, Decius does kind of have a point. Although, at the moment, she's just sort of watching what he's doing. Um, yeah, he, he's grabbing at his neck. Um, uh, at <coughs> he, he's trying to talk. He's, he's like, he, like massaging his neck. He's, you know, doing the universal, I'm choking the death symbol. Um, his body is jackknifing on the ground, um, just doing, trying to dislodge this chunk of bread that got stuck in the wrong pipe, and he can't get it out. His face is turning blue, his lips are turning blue, his body's slowing down, um, his eyes are rolling up in the back of his head. You can see where little blood vessels are uh, bursting um, in, his, in his eyes. Uh, um, uh, he doesn't look like he's going peacefully. So at this point, Lubian is just kind of taking mental notes about what she's witnessing. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 can, I can see Lubiana now. As, as, as he's starting to slow down, his hands are, are like, and he's trying to beg for help, and you lean down, and you put your head on his chest, and you're listening to his heartbeat, and your face is up toward, and you're looking at his face, and you can hear his heartbeat just rapidly. <laughs> 
and it starts getting slower, and all of a sudden it just goes and stops, and it's just like, and then it just, uh, 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 and then like it, it'll beat a couple of times, but that's it's just like there, it's no longer a heartbeat, and uh, his body goes real stiff and rigid, and then uh, relaxes, and then the bodily processes take over, or the bowels release. Um, you smell the stench of human urine and waste coming out of him. Um, and he goes completely still. At this point, you know, Lavian is just kind of nodding her head. Hmm. Interesting. You going to take the rest? At this point, she's just like, yeah, well, you know, no point letting the rest of it go to waste. Yeah. Waste, waste <laughs> not, what not. Um, what's your no. humanity level right now? Two or three? Three. Three. Oh, let's see what that is. I don't think this is a sin for you. No, I was just going to say, I've been trying to um, memorize these new... Uh, this new hierarchy. Yep. I'm pretty sure at level three, uh, a death like this is not a sin. No. Yep. Planned violation of another. Casual violation of another. Well, this I wasn't planned. You, uh, um, you actually wanted to let him live. And you're not Nicodemus. You don't know how to save him. You didn't. Um, to be honest, though, you didn't try. No, uh, I'd say it was level four. So yeah, you're good. Not e not even a sin for you. You're just like, huh? Oh well. Too bad. It's like actually, there is a question. Do I still need to? I suppose not adhere, but like now that I'm on the road of bones. You're not on the road like of bones yet. You need to. Well, there's a little bit more you have to do oh. before you reach that. Okay. Yep, you're still on humanity. I wasn't sure if I was. Okay. Yeah, there's there's All some. Right. First, you got to learn the first couple of steps on the road of bones, and then you have to make some rolls. And oh, you have to reduce any any um, virtues that are different have to be taken down to zero. Ooh, that's so I think right. I'm already down to. Yeah. One. I think bones is conviction and self control. Pretty yes, sure. It is. Yeah. So you gotta take conscience down to zero. Alright, so I'm still operating on conscience. Alright. I believe that takes care of everybody's hunting scenes. Um I believe Decius did one blood? during a downtime. You you uh Sorry, you gained ten I... out of that. Ten. Yep. Okay. Alright. It's been a week. You guys have done some things, personal business, taking care of some stuff. Um, one evening goes goes by. A couple hours after sunset, you are all talking to each other around, and uh, Decius would uh, please roll your uh, let's say wits and street streetwise or ledger domain and contacts. Uh, in fact, everybody can do that if you want. This is totally voluntary. Yeah, I don't think there's streetwise. I will roll ledger domain. So, what, what's this roll for? This is to, to hear something on the streets. And contacts? Uh... Yes, and contacts. Ledger domain and what attribute? Wits. Wits and ledger domain. That's not a barge. Holy shit, I don't know. No, no, I, I had three modifiers on that. That was a mistake. I mean, do you have contacts of three? No, I do not. The second row is the one that is correct without the modifiers. Awesome. Still very good. All right. So, Albana. Um, stand, sorry, standard diff? Yeah, six. Um, Albana, while you were out feeding at the parties, um, you heard, uh, specifically, there are 
there is an interested party looking for Decius, and they are not being nice about it. Um, word is spreading all over Rome. People are out knocking on doors. There is graffiti on certain walls. Um, and there are rewards being offered that the Senatus Princeps, um, once Decius brought in to see him. Well, shit. She's going to try to arrange a meeting with Decius. And you can do that, Decius. So Decius will accept any meeting with the country members. has come to my attention that you might have made a few enemies that are seeking you out. A few enemies? Any particular one in your mind? Um, His name was uh, Marcus something, if I remember right. Yeah. A Marcus. Is that about... <clears throat> Is it about the, uh, the thing that happened a few weeks ago? If you, if you understand what I mean. Do you think? I don't know. I did not stop to ask them, but I would imagine so. Okay. But that's, that's a trouble for all of us. Let's meet up with the country. I will try to be subtle while going there. Um, speaking of... The and, uh, yeah. uh, Decius, I would like you to roll your um, manipulation or charisma plus your um, commerce plus your current resources rating. Okay. Uh, sure, I can do that. Would it be possible to add something like allies or something to this role? Uh, do you want to call in a favor? I mean, this is about my money, I feel like, because you called for a commerce, so... This is about I, you I... shipping something the hell out of here. Okay, oh, okay. Yeah, um, you know what? Uh, yeah, I will owe a favor to my allies to get their help. They are quite influential, so I think their help might be okay. valuable. Um, you will owe a favor to an ally. Add three dice to this roll. Okay, I will add the favor to my sheet in a moment. Uh, so you said manipulation, commerce? And resources rating, plus th current resources. Yes, which is two. Oh, and then I get the allies as well, okay. Okay. Um, you believe you have found a trustworthy um, shipping agent. Um, things are packed up appropriately, and you get the... Um, speeches and plays packed up and the hell out of Rome. On okay. the way to Athens. Okay, that's uh, that feels good to know. Um, on that note, uh, back to the scene. I will uh, say, Alvina, uh, <clears throat> let's meet up with the country in the, the group haven. Uh, have a meeting about this. Uh, we don't want this attention to become bigger. It will be a problem for all of us. <clears throat> um, I will get a chariot ready for us. It should provide some form of privacy uh, from the prying eyes. And then I will uh, tell my uh, ghoul, um, I will tell my uh, Lucius, because he is the more scary one. I believe. Yeah, he's the most scary one. So I will tell Lucius to get a um, carriage for us. M one of the more private ones. They, they don't They don't have carriages. No such okay, thing. They don't? No such thing? Okay. They have okay. wagons, open wagons, and um, two-person chariots. 
Okay. Uh, let me check something, man. Okay. Um, in such case, uh, we will have to be on foot, and we will have to take more discreet path towards our group haven while walking. I will uh, I will put on some discreet clothing just to not get attention on myself, you know. Okay. Uh, do my best. Yep. Yeah, you know that you know this man knows your name, but uh, if he knew where you lived, he would have already had people there. <laughs> yeah, I so. I do suspect that. So which is why I'm trying to be still subtle, just right. to not give that clue as well on top of right. everything. Good idea. All right, you guys are walking through the streets of Rome. Um, you got bodyguards with you, right? Uh, yes, I do have Lucius and Titus with me. Okay. I hope that's a good thing. The last time I got more than, less than 20, I died. Uh -oh. Um. Have your men give me a charisma and intimidation roll. Or charisma and melee, whichever's better. Okay. Um, is there any bonus dice they get? Nope. Okay, charisma, melee. Unless you're using all. Um, I mean, I'm not going to make the rolls, so I don't know if... You are going to make the rolls. They have a dice pool, you have the character sheets. Okay, okay, so I can... Yeah, I can use R, I guess. Is this about intimidation? Yes, it is. Okay, I can use R, sure. Um, that was manipulated. Was it charisma performance? Yep. Yeah, okay. I need to spend blood for that if I recall correctly. Yep. They're doing it. They're doing it. Not you. Okay. So, so should I roll for the R? They don't have presents. I'm checking your okay. sheets. Okay. Okay, I'll make it for you. Yeah. Um. So Charisma, intimidation. Uh, so, yeah, I, uh, yeah, Lucius can do it because he has melee, and you see it. You can roll melee instead if you want. So Lucius can make the roll. I do not think Titus will be better than that. Uh, he's a guy with a hammer anyway, so... Yeah. Strength does not help with... You can't use strength for intimidation, right? That's... Is that the only thing? Like, would you it's a that? way of intimidating. Using strength for intimidation is like grabbing a handful of walnuts and then you crack them in your in your hand. You know, or uh, mm. um, but what he's doing is he's walking around. He pulls out the hammer. He's twirling it. He's tapping it in his hand. You know, so you see somebody walking around doing that. That's what he's doing. Okay. 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 Is Albina with me? I would guess so, since she came to get you. Come on, roll 20, respond to my clicks. Thank you. You got one success. Yeah, we'll have your other guy roll too. How's Titus's shit? What's his shit look like? This is not so bad as uh, Titus pulls out an arrow, knocks it, and lets loose into the darkness. He's going to roll um, dexterity and intimidation. Thank you. Thank you for being kind. <laughs> Thank you, kind God. <laughs> Uh, pretty sure he has an archery freaking specialty as well for this, so. He does. Man, I never get to roleplay them. I should. Alright. Yeah, so, you see Titus takes out his hammer. And he starts doing the whole, I'm a fucking badass walking besides my guy. You know, act, shoulders rolling and all that. Yeah. And your other guy, um takes a bow out from under his cloak, and he's looking around, and you see people shadowing you. 
and they look like common foot pads, thugs. Um, and he does the thing where he takes the bow out and he just draws, knocks um, to his face, lets go, and um, it pins the dude's hand to the wall. And you hear him going, ah! And he grabs his hand and he's trying to yank his hand off and he's like, you don't want to fuck with us today. And everybody scatters. Oh, man. Sorry. To... I could... So, I'm not going to tell what I can do to you. Maybe in a private moment. Yeah, he did. He, he, he pinned that dude's fucking hand right to the wood with the arrow. And the guy's like, oh, God. Everybody, he's screaming, oh, it hurts. And you guys just keep on walking. Okay. Okay, double time. All right, you make it to the haven. Okay. Unmolested. Yeah, that, that was enough to scare everybody off. Nice. Uh, I assume we are all caught through here right now together. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, um, <clears throat> listen, uh, thanks to Albina letting me know, uh, a kind gesture of her. Uh, I've learned that our man, uh, Marcus Amelius, is looking out for me. I do believe he is suspecting that whatever that happened a week ago is because of me. I'm getting attention. A spotlight. That does not exist, but let's assume it exists right now. I am getting spotlight on me. And it's a trouble. It's a big trouble. It can explode uh, all of us. So we need to take care of this. He will eventually get his hands on me. That is for sure. If the common people do not see me in the streets and try to drag me, it will be another kindred who will take the advantage to fuck with me. So he will give the information. I do think it is better to just take the moment and meet with him. Go to him ourselves, but before we do that, we should prepare for a plan. Things that we will be saying. Uh, things that we can make sure that he just doesn't have enough reason to come after us. We can also try to pull an act before we do so. Um, maybe using your abilities, Nicodemus, your opus gate, we can arrange a scene where I set up the assassination of our target. Well, uh, it will be you in opus gate, but no one needs to know that other than us. And if you have any suggestions, Kotri, feel free to speak up. Can you meet with him and dominate him enough to drop suspicion on you? I could try to modify his memories, but there are conditions that need to be fulfilled. I, of course, need a private moment. I need his attention. Um, if there is anyone obfuscated and Nosferatu or some other kindred in his room or if anyone is spying on him, that might be a problem. Assu I assume that if we meet up with him, he either will want it to happen in an open place of some sort or in some street with his gang. Or it will be in his uh, villa, but he will definitely have some strong arms with him as well. I do not think that he will trust us as much as before where he met with us in a more private room. It's, uh, he did not met with uh, one of us. One of us, could pre one of us that he did not met yet could present you. That way, you have the, time, the privacy that he needed to do his memories. Can you elaborate? It sounds, it sounds good. But uh, what do you have in mind precisely? One of us uh, contacts him, one of us that he has not met yet. We tell him that we are off, uh, we tell him that we have captured him. And we deliver you to him. When we deliver to him, 
you will have the opportunity to use your dominance on him. It be we could uh, I could use my own dominance on any of his guards that are around to provide you the privacy. Hmm. Ten plus, ten plus if he... Oh, sorry, I was going to say N. No, you plus. go on. Go on. What were you going to say, Lavina? N plus, uh, we... Well... Some of us have all specs which uh, could potentially be used for uh, detecting various things, as it were. That sounds... Um... This sounds a smart thing to do. So, I I do see the appeal in this. Uh, what you're suggesting, Alpina. We could you could try to tell him that you know you have me or information about me, uh, and try to we can try to meet in a secluded place. He will most definitely bring his guards. I assume he will bring something between five and six, or. Maybe ten if he's really suspicious. Um, if we are in a secluded place, I have to make sure that there is no obfuscated kindreds or anyone like spying on us that we have the privacy we need. Uh, we could definitely use a dominate, and I can especially use uh, Majesty to have absolute control over them and modify each one of their memories. And then once it is done, we can send them away. But to do that successfully, to pull that successfully, we will need a secu uh, secluded moment. All right, I wrap this moment um, as you're discussing strategy here, and you ha you've come up with this idea. Um, Gregorius stumbles into the cult haven. Um, he's got a, a really disturbed look on his face. He's wearing his bloody surgeon's clothes. Um, he has a envelope in his hand, a wax sealed leather, um, leather folded envelope. Uh, the heavy set of blood, I mean, the thing is soaked in blood. And, uh, he finds Nicodemus as you guys are talking and he says, uh, this is my sire. This has arrived for you at the Collegium. It was stuffed into the stomach of a man. Uh, he staggered in just after sunset with this sticking out of his belly. Um, he collapsed in front of me, and uh, I, I couldn't save him. And Are you he, fine? He, he, shoves this, he shoves this envelope to, to Nicodemus' hands. Are you okay? No, 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 not really. No. Are you about as okay as could be expected after such a thing? No, I, I don't think so. Uh, I don't think I'm very good at all. Well, thank you for bringing this to me, Gregorius. Uh, if this is what I think it is, I'm deeply sorry for unwittingly bringing this to you. Um, I hope... Why don't you take a moment to, to, to take a breather and, uh, and um, console your... Uh, console your mind. Yeah, yes. Feel free to take a, like... There, there are a few private rooms around here currently. Feel free to rest yourself in one of those. Alright, so he staggers off. Do um, you open up the thing and read it? Well, yeah. Maybe, right. it's, maybe it's crucially important. There you go. Should be on your screens. Um, it says says, friends, you know me. Often I visited you in your captivity in Carthage, and have written much correspondence with Nicodemus. However, the destruction of my beloved home and the cruelty of the victors of that war forever sits with me. The reckoning is due. Join me. Come tonight at the apex of the night, outside of Rome on the field of Mars. The people of Rome, the people of all Italia, are ready to throw off the old chains and start anew. Be among them, reject the stale past, and take your future into your hands, and it is signed, Critias. Uh, do you read that out loud, Nicodemus, or privately? I would assume he passes it around. Yeah. Who, who is this man? 
I do not know him. Uh, I think it, I think Crefius, Cre right? No, Critius. Critius, oh. Childa of Menelae. Mm -hmm. It's the... I think it's the guy who cured us from the... His, his from sire the cured you, endeavor. yes. His sire cured you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is this... Uh, this is out of character question. Uh, what he's writing, does it sound like treachery? Because... Out of character. Oh, fuck, yeah, yeah, fuck yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, I, I, something, something I was about to say. Either he's very confident that we're going to accept, or he's laying a trap, or he's stupid. It's one of those three. Or he doesn't give listen, a shit. Yeah, uh, listen. Uh, this, this is, and you see this is actually for the first time, like, laugh out loud, uh, breaking his, like, uh, you know, serious, calm, and cold demeanor like a brother went through. Instead, he actually giggles a little bit before continuing and says, this is treachery. This is... <laughs> this invitation is stupid in nature. We should immediately go to the Elysium. Uh, there is no Elysium, but whatever. We should immediately go to the Elysium and meet with the sheriff. Mention this. Part but of me... Part of me almost wants to go just to see just to see precisely who would make such a bold play. I definitely understand the appeal in it, but if we accept this, this is a death sentence on ourselves. This is shooting ourselves in the foot. I uh, concur. Anyone sees us there, they're gonna assume we came in to to conduct in whatever it is this mad plan of cutting old chains. We can we can excuse ourselves, but it, it will be to no avail. Listen, this is an opportunity. If this is a trap, the sheriff will have, I concur, she will have the powers to uh, survive that trap. And if this is actually true, I concur that if we tell this to her, to sheriff, she will reward us. We should immediately, or I should stay here, I need to stay low, but you should immediately find her and tell her this message. I am curious about who else received a similar message as this. To anyone listening uh, at home, can you picture me up right, it's Critias. Maybe your visions could tell you a few information. Give the glimpses. Um, yeah, who was holding this lamp? Oh, yes. I'll well, the, the guy who was holding this lamp stumbled into the Collegium, but yeah. Technically, he wasn't holding it. No, that might tell us something about who um, put it there, so to speak. <laughs> well, I was also about to say, so, um, Labiena, we'll say Labiena's, well, I won't say Labiena's holding it in her hands, but um, at some point, obviously, it would have been passed to her. Um, and, Nicodemus um, would try as well. Okay, um, you both get to roll your Auspex level 3 Spirit's Touch. Perception plus empathy. Yep. Yeah, set it up here. I think you decide the difficulty, Chris. All right. We're going to call this difficulty five. There it is. Okay. Five. As she's doing this, as she's doing this, Labiana, upon having read the contents, We'll um, also look over at Nicodemus and go, Also, I must admit, um, I'm a little curious as to the uh, the correspondence uh, with you uh, noted here. I'm, I'm curious as to what uh, type of correspondence uh, you have had with Cretius. Is this a suspicion cast in my face, Labiana? Just more curiosity than anything. Medicine? Just society? Just, I guess Pretty we're much wondering it. if there's anything in the contents that may um, shed some more light on this. No, it's not a hidden hint. I don't think so. If anything, is survey. Okay. 
as something that ties me to him in a way, although sharing Kanzo's pandas isn't a crime exactly. Uh, refresh my memory. Previous was the one who was so deeply humane that when he, when they brought him to. As far as you know, Critias has never been to Rome. Right. It may have been maybe confusing. Yeah, there was another one, a, a Shunamesh. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, a Shunamesh. Yeah, okay, okay. Right, right. Was he a mm, Salubri or a La Sombra? Bruja. Bruf, okay. It's a Bruja. Yep. Um, so on one success, um, this man is not the only man uh, to whom was uh, given a letter to deliver. Uh, on two successes, you get a second very piece of, piece of information. Um, a woman sliced his belly and shoved it in. The, does she get the glimpse of the face of the woman? Nope, only that it is a female. It was not Critias himself. And there's no other sensory feelings like uh, smell or uh, anything? On else? one success, you get very basic information, such as the la last owner's gender and hair color, for instance. On two successes, you get a second p basic piece of information. Okay. Yeah. okay. Pretty much. Yeah. That, that does tell us, if nothing else, that uh, um, if... Assume, assuming this is in fact Critias, it isn't Critias alone. Yeah, it's either Critias I... alone, or this is not Critias, this is just a fake thing. Speaking of which, is it his handwriting? It Does is. It seem like his and his way of expressing himself? Yes. This Wait, matches yeah. exactly what you remember seeing. Okay. Um, let's... Okay, um, so after we do this, uh, after the aspects thing, uh, I do, I do suggest that you immediately meet with the sheriff. This invitation, there is no reason in accepting it, despite however curious you might be. Uh, even the tiniest chance of this being a trap or you getting caught even if it's not a trap the backlash will be huge this is not worth it this should not happen should immediately go to the sheriff she will have the means she will have the power to check this out and on top of it she will prove your once again you will prove your loyalty to the prince and to rome and that will, well, that's a helpful thing. What I'm curious about is perhaps if you work with Ally, this woman that you mentioned that you saw stabbing this man, could it perhaps be um, Aunt Christina or Alaga? Shit, this might be a good thing, actually. <laughs> I feel like Chris is smiling right now behind his screen. Yeah. Well, I mean, silence I guess what silence we can is say is that it is a, a possibility. It would be kind of weird for them per personally to, to, to bloody themselves in this. Either case, uh, yes. Uh, listen, we can question this all we want, but. Uh, I don't think the smartest decision we can make is going to the Sharia. Um, um, she might want us to come with her. In such case, you might also get answers to your curiosity. But there is simply no other option. This must be our choice. This is the correct option to meet with the Sharia. I agree. I also think we should speak. Uh, we should, if possible, try to once again get in contact with Sybil. Though I imagine she might already seek to get in contact with us again if the threat of Carthage is resurgent. 
Um, I, I would rather not involve her at all unless we absolutely have to. Uh, at, at the moment, Indeed. I do agree with Head Shepsut. Um, listen, you know the attention on me, so I cannot sadly come with you. If the sheriff asks why I am not there, you can simply tell her that I need to lay low for reasons. Uh, but if if you need my help, I do believe Head Shepsut can send a bird to me. Um, let's say try to send a big crow and if i get it i will assume that you need my help very well a big black crow okay. i wonder if there is a way to tell them tell the uh, hold on. Uh, tell the um, ah, tell the sheriff. I, I, what vigil? Oh, okay. Tell the vigil somehow discreetly without making too much of a ruckus at the Legion. I mean, I, I have no idea. Uh, listen, guys, uh, just in case. Pick up your gladius. I'm sure you have some stash gladius in this haven, group haven. So pick it up just in case she asks you to follow up and then it might lead to some fight. So have some weapons ready. Alright, um, let's take a quick break. Let's let's take 10. Um, you guys can refresh yourselves and um, think about what to do. And when we come back, maybe we'll have a little bit more clearer thoughts. Alright? Mm, I may... It, it may take me a bit longer than 10 minutes. Uh, I have something to do, important, and so go ahead and start without me, should I not make it. Okay. All right, um, we're back. Um, you're gonna, you said you wanted to make willpower roll. Um, you're just clearing clouds, right? <clears throat> That's what, level yeah. two or three? Um, I think, I think, I'm gonna go with three just to be on the safe side. All right, so then diff six. All right, so it eventually clears up. One and... success. Yes, it's it's slowly, slowly. I mean... Um, actually, it's a level two reroll. Level two, rain or snow. All right. Still a one, mm -hmm. not a ten as well. Well, um. It takes about half an hour to start clearing. Uh, by that time, you guys have reached the bathhouse, which is, I believe was your primary destination, correct? Mm-hmm. All right. I don't think the group has a means to know where the sheriff is, I assume. Well, we're just going to where, where the, the one place we know that's like for official business stuff, and we can just ask around there, I guess. Yes, well, the bathhouse is pretty empty. Um, surprisingly, there's very few people there, uh, only a few neonates um, who are as bewildered as anybody else as to, you know, they're like, hey, we were told to come here and say we're here so we don't get killed by the mysterious shadow that's been killing everybody. Wait, what? That's uh, Albina's sire. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you know the, the mysterious shadow that, like, appears and grabs new people and drags them into the walls and they're never seen again? You haven't uh, okay. heard about that? Okay, I get it now. Yeah, we were told to come here and, and, and tell somebody in charge that we're here and that, like, make sure that doesn't happen. So, yeah, um, are you people in charge, officially? Ignore that duty is wasting your time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, these people are a waste of your time. Yeah, yeah, I'm just, you know, all, all I'll say is, uh, well, kid, it seems uh, uh, you've got even more bad luck tonight. Don't want to <laughs> yeah. tell you. Ends the breaks, kids. <laughs> Find office room. I hope there's an office room.
Um, you, you know what? I think we're, you know what? I'm just imagining now that would just be hilarious. If he's if they sent it to everyone in the city, including the prince. Uh, as a matter of fact, the prince does have an office. Uh, prince Epps has an office here. He's not here, but there is an office. I mean, double time. Just uh, do whatever you do, but do it fast. Okay, I'm going to... As the clouds are clear, I'm going to try and quickly um, do... You know, try and... As speedily as I can without compromising accuracy, do a reading. Okay. Give me the appropriate rolls. Uh, I believe you know the rolls by now. What about... Just remind, I, Albina and uh, Nicodemus and uh, Labian is there as well, right? Or is it only head ships? I believe I they're believe here. So. Yeah, I believe everyone traveled with you. I, I th for some reason, it never fully sticks in my mind. It's like, first it's Inte perception. Intelligence and hearth wisdom, astrology. Okay. And then perception plus occult plus extra successes on the first roll. Do you have it, like, written on your sheet? You know what? I'm gonna fucking write it down at this point because it's getting silly how yeah, I mean, it just can't been, stick in my mind. You've been playing this character we'll for say, like two years. <laughs> you know. We'll see, this is why I have these uh, expanded discipline and expanded rituals. Well, fuck. <laughs> it's not a botch. It's not a botch. It's the failure. Hey, you, you just don't. Your, your star true. charts, for some reason, you forgot them at home. You forgot this, your star charts. I, Oh yeah. no, I'm be I'm bewildered as I realize that rather than any recognized constellation, the stars seem to be forming uh, what we would later know as a shrug emoji. Yeah. You're on your own, kid. Them's the breaks. <laughs> yeah, no. The stars are annoyed by you today. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, can you still make the second roll? Yeah. Uh, yes, you can. No, just, because yes, you can. Oh, you just okay. don't get any extra successes. Okay, so I'm just like because okay, so... the astrology role is a way for you to focus. It brings gotcha. stuff into focus. It allows you to place the omens in a framework that you understand. And okay, was that? It is perception was... plus occult. Okay, occult. You're you're freestyling right now without yeah. guidance. Thankfully, All I right. do manage some. Um, you, you forgot your star charts at home. Um, you can't really plot the constellations, but you see um, a series of shooting stars across the sky uh, cutting their way through some familiar constellations, and um, you see some bright lights that uh, you remember exactly what the stars are, and the images pour into your head. Ask three questions, please. Okay, what's what's about to happen at the uh, meeting spot the letter designated? Like, is, is it what is going to? How's that whole thing going to go down? Um, the stars speak to you of tremendous danger at that meeting. All right, sheriff, where's the sheriff? Yeah, um, so. Second question, actually, just as an idle curiosity that came to mind. Was this letter, was that message sent honestly? With, with, you know, as much as treat as hey kids want to do treason can be honest. Um, the stars speak to you of the um, anvil of Carthage, or the hammer of Carthage. So it was from Carthaginian, um, from people with Carthaginian sympathies then, mm -hmm. is what I'm getting from that. Which is not a good thing, because they're bot lie. Just... And the final question is, where, in what domain should I look to find the prince and sheriff? Um... The House of Jupiter. The temple. Let's go. Let's yep. go. Uh, ha so Hat will just sort of like shake her head a moment as it all becomes clear. Um, the, the, temp the Temple of Jupiter. Now. It is 
just past midnight by the time you guys reach that. What's, wait, uh, sorry, I'm bad with time. What's midnight? Is it like 7 p.m.? What, what is it? That's midnight. Uh, 12. midnight. 12, 12 p.m. The height of night. The the peak of night, 12. as the letter said. Okay. Between one day and the other. <laughs> it's the peak of night, okay. Yeah. Well, the, the apex of the night. Yep. It's it's okay. Maybe maybe they will wait for 10 minutes or so just to... Just to give us some time, assuming that we might be running out of trouble. Just uh, follow the plan. Don't don't break the plan. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, we reach the Temple of Jupiter. Does anything as we are walking to the entrance seem amiss? Um. Yeah. You don't get to the entrance. Oh boy. Yeah. There's um people there, and they're like, um, you're not allowed here. Go away. Who, who, what do they look like? They look like people. Like guardian people? Yeah, like, um, we're not going to let you get close to the to this temple. Go away. It is closed for a private function. Bodyguards. Okay. Um, and, and presumably this is abnormal. Um, none of you are on the road of sin. And none of you are confidants of uh, the princeps. So you have no idea what's normal and what's not normal here. Ah, oh, fair, fair enough. But... Uh, it do okay. not be... There are no senate functions, as far as you know. Though they never meet here. This is not a senate function. Um... Jesus. Okay, um... So I'm just going to motion for us to step back and just sort of... With, um... Mention just sort of like, you know, no. On the one hand, the prince is almost, the, the prince and sheriff are almost certainly in there. On the other hand, we have no idea what's going on. And on the third hand, if, if it is the uh, higher ups of the city in there and we try to spy on him, then that will not go over well. I can see an option. She's going to, uh, Obna is going to extend her hand and asking for the letter. Um, one I of you has Kalabi... it. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Whoever has it gives it over. Yeah. I can send this directly to the prince. If you're certain that he will not take offense to it, then go for it. Just. Just remember that if you, you know, when you give the command, give this letter to the prince or something like that, there will not be context, you will just get the letter. And then prince will be like, you know, he will read the letter and he will be like, okay, what kind of context should I take from it? Uh, just just be aware of that. So he, will, he, he won't know that this was us giving the letter or anything. <clears throat> I suppose I cannot uh, take the letter while I'm in shadow form, can I? Yeah, you can. You can tuck it into your into your clothes. That's fine. Yeah, I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to look for a place where I can take shadow form. A easily Wait found. The... Easily found. Oh, man, has some balls. Nice. Your lasombra blood is boiling. After that, I'm going to try to uh, lead my way over into one of the entrances of the temple. Okay. You uh, <clears throat> go in through the doors, which are not airtight, so you make your way through. Inside, it's a fucking party. Um, torches are lit, people are dancing, singing, and um, in the center is uh, the princeps, and he appears to be performing some sort of ritual mutilation to a person. Who gives a shit about that? Would there be, I don't know, perhaps some uh, groups of mortals that would be uh, laid out for feasting? Uh, yeah, there are a number of people um, along the walls who are um, dead or dying. But no one that is free, no one that is walking around. 
No. Uh, there are cultists and people who worship uh, Camilla as um, a fucking god. And they are about... You ever see Eyes Wide Shut? It's kind of like that. Shoot. Okay. Um, would I be able to... Would I be able to leave the letter somewhere that will be found? Oh, sure. Absolutely. By the right person. Yeah, I'm going to... Before I do that, I'm going to... Well, question if I change the letter. Do you form do you assume physical form? Let's ask that question first. In the darkness of the in the back of the darkness, yes. Okay. Uh, Ooh, is this Inanna is going to make a, a roll with her fucking huge Auspex dice pool. Inanna, of course. <laughs> yes. I mean wait. Freaking Melkavians! Does, does she get the extra dice from the aspects? No, but she has enough aspects to know whenever somebody's around her. Yeah. Okay. Oh, shit. There's a lot of tens, actually. One, no, sorry, two, not three, ten, four, uh, five, one. six, seven, minus three, four. Yeah, um, so, uh, Albana, you uh, form in a darkness, and you assume physical form, and you take a look around, and you immediately meet eyes with uh, Inanna, the uh, Praetor Urbanus now. not No Shoulder longer the letter. Wigil. She is now the Praetor Urbanus. Shoulder letter. Just point it. Trust me. <laughs> of now Lois eyes. She extends the letter. Um, she points at you, and she does the whole finger crook. Come here. She approaches. Um, okay. Anana doesn't move. She waits on you. Yeah, she approaches her. All right. Double speed. Doesn't say a word. She's looking at you, waiting. Okay, oh, okay. She's waiting for me to talk. Okay, uh, sorry. We have received information that there is a coup against the prince. Um, she takes the letter out of your hand, shakes it a little bit, puts it in her mouth, tastes it, opens it, um, and then she looks at the princeps and she says, uh, she says, my lord princeps, one dares to interrupt your ceremony. Uh... And in a very incredibly disturbing manner, the man begs the princeps to not stop torturing him. Um, however, Inanna puts her hand on your back and shoves you forward. Obna walks forward, walking over to the princeps and taking a kneeling position in front of him. Um, he looks down and he says, You come where you're not invited and interrupt me? Yes. I assume you had a good reason? We received news that there is a coup ongoing against you. That uh, there is a survival of Carthage uh, gathering the strength outside of the city. Um, Anana gives him the, the note and he reads it and he says, look into this. And he looks at you and he says, take his place. Up now walks forward and uh, I imagine she doesn't do any uh, stuff holding the immortal. So that she may take his nope. place. Just literally he's laying there voluntarily. Yeah. Then she undresses yep. herself. She pushes herself, uh, she pushes, uh, pull herself on his place. And uh, to hash of sits eternal jealousy, he begins to brutally torture you. Um as punishment for interrupting his ceremony. Would there be some rules to try to keep herself under control, to try to... to try to not freak right. the fuck out? Um, you can roll your... <clears throat> uh, we're gonna say roll your self-control or instinct. 
Um, you may spend a willpower point for each roll. You need to accumulate a number of your successes in willpower, right? So if you have a willpower of six, you need six total successes. And I'm going to guess here that the fact, the fact that this might actually genuinely be important is the one reason that he's only torturing her. Um, how much time will this take? As, in character, I mean. Yeah, you guys are just waiting around outside like, okay, still waiting. Still waiting. Still waiting. Yeah. <laughs> is there like a cat coming towards us? Nope. Uh, everyone's just still waiting. Going to the <gasps> zoo power? Is there another zoo power? And that is my five success. No, no. That's three, yeah, that's because, three successes. Six. Uh, six. Four, five, six. Okay. Um, you managed to lay there, uh, stock still, barely even react as he does horrible, I'm not even going to describe the things that he does. Just imagine what he can do with knives and red hot irons, um, and leave somebody alive and begging for more. The she comes out of it with damage? Um, you will come out of this with two lethal damage. Uh, <clears throat> however, you can conceal all of it under your clothes if you decide not to heal it. Um, She's not going yeah. to heal it, not yet. She assumed that healing to be considered to be disrespectful to the priest. Yeah, and even plus, worse, you got you got to rub this in, in Lobby and his nose, or in uh, Hatchet's nose, that <laughs> she just endured two hours of brutal torture and barely uttered a word. And you know she would have loved that. And even was healing to my invite the prince to continue. Um, <laughs> he what? finishes up <laughs> uh, with well, a, so a rousing round. Of... Make a roll? With who? <laughs> well, he, anyways, he finishes with a, uh, need to make a, roll? Sorry. <laughs> a, a a jealousy roll, maybe. Um, he finishes with a, a rousing round of uh, using a switch to beat the crap out of your feet, so it's hard to walk. And you leave little bloody footprints. And uh, commands you to get up and to walk out of his temple. Uh, but be proud, you did good. Uh, he'll torture you anytime you want. <laughs> Thank you, Camillus. Thank you, Prince. Um, you notice in the meantime that... Uh, the orgy has begun, and uh, on your way out, um, head held high, proud, um, there's minor acts of cannibalism going on. Well, we'll just we'll just leave it at that. Um, little tiny, like when you say love bite, we're talking like love, um, love, yeah. Imagine love bites, but they're actually biting chunks of flesh off. But like no actual diabolism going on. Right, it's uh, mortal and ghoul cultists and um, even a couple of uh, several vampires. Okay, but no, no the cannibalism in the vampire way. Nope, no, no diablerie, no, uh, um, uh, no uh, death. Yeah, this is some oh, Hannibal. Yeah. This is some Hannibal Lecter shit going on right here. But is it is it a sexy cooking or is it boring cooking? It's it's uh they're they're eating human tartar. Okay, but it's yeah. not cooked. Ma That's what tartar Ma means. Ma well. Okay. All right. She walked. It's been two hours. You guys are just like, what in the fuck is taking so goddamn long? This is awful. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Waiting. How, how much does it take? And she walks out after two hours. Um, oh shit! In bare feet, her sandals I held don't... in her hand, um, walking a little tenderly, mind you, but clothed, head held high, no visible damage on on her face or her hands, so visible skin. When I see that she blinks, I assume all the world's well. 
Oh, the energy just looks. I have Happened given the there. message. I have given the message to the prince, but he required for me to join his rituals for having interrupted him. And she's going to undo her robes and show the injuries on her body. Ooh. Uh. Front of the guards. In front of Hatshepsut, I think, is most important. This, this was to be expected. Mm, an interesting technique when you're administering hits. How did he get? How did he make that one? I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to remember that. How do you even <laughs> make it from this angle? Like, is it? All right, it's uh, it's getting close to da to dawn. <clears throat> Uh, you guys need yes. to retreat back to your havens. We should make haste. Indeed. Uh, spend a blood point for when you wake up. Uh, uh, by the way, Chris. <clears throat> uh, I'm listening. I, yeah, I did ask. I think I did ask this, or I might have forgot to ask this, but like, uh, did this use also hunted at some point because we did it for the rest of the group. I, I, I thought you did during your downtime, but if not, go ahead and make your roll. <clears throat> okay. I'm pretty sure you did during your downtime. <clears throat> yeah, I, I okay. probably have, but I don't remember it. So. Um, as you wake the next evening, uh, about half an hour after you rise from the grave, um, you feel a powerful summons uh, oh boy pulling you oh, uh, pulling you in the direction of the bathhouse yeah we know this is well, that's not cordial again to okay. be expected All right. uh, Decius you have just enough time after you have risen um, you're getting ready to hunt uh, you uh, head out uh, you head out to your nearby um, feeding grounds where you like to feed. And there is a, uh, you find a available um, person of uh, your preferred feeding type. Uh, seems to have um, simply not gotten home in time and has stopped off to uh, see if he could rent a, uh, a bed for the evening because he doesn't want to travel the dangerous streets at night. Uh, I will I will do it quickly and safely. Just take two blood points. Okay, three. Mm, two two blood points. Okay, well he's I fine. Say, anyway. I say two. Yeah, two. Okay. All right, well you take two. And um, as you are finishing up and cleaning up, you feel the the wave of the powerful summons come here. No, I don't resist. I, I follow the summon. Yep. <clears throat> Before I follow the summon, I like to heal the two damage, and I like to make use of the group herd. Um, excellent. Make a uh, hunting roll and add um, the herd dice to your roll. It's four fucking dice. Remember, guys, if you have a domain, to hunt in your domain lowers the difficulty of hunting. I don't know if you guys have domain, but you should use it. Like, this is just, it's not just like a cool stat in your shade. Right. It, it's actually useful. So, excellent. Um, um, Albana, you follow the group, so, several members of the herd, out. Uh, they are going to go pick up some things um, in the uh, night markets when things tend to get a little bit cheaper. And uh, there's a few people down inviting people to a party. You go past an insulae and there appears to be a huge gathering going on inside. You slip inside and immediately um, find that people are already imbibing and there's several um, hookups going on and you easily find yourself um, able to take advantage of two of those hookups uh, before the summons hits you. So how much blood would you like to take from those, those two? So we're gonna cut that in half. You can have four safely or um, more with the chance. I'm going to take four. Okay. Yep, so you take four safely, and as, as you're like, man I'm, man, I'm on a roll. I'm doing good. Getting ready to go to the next side, you feel the summons. Come here now. She heads off to meet the summons. Yep. Yep. 
um, you reach the bathhouse, it is packed. Uh, and more, more and more are arriving, um, even as you speak. As, Looks as you, like an announcement will be made. As you get there, and you are, everyone is gathered, you're talking, um, everyone is wondering what the hell is going on. Um, the elders begin exactly. arriving. Up to make a conscious effort to avoid any of the Las Sombras. Yeah, um, no need, because they're avoiding you. <laughs> Why are they doing this? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, they're giving, they're giving, um, all but a, yeah, nobody else really notices, but all but a, they're giving you the stink eye, like, like, what the hell is this person doing here? You know, almost like you got a bad BO or something. Did you do to your club right. mates? Or, like, I'll be there. Alright, um, the, uh, Princeps comes out of his private chambers, uh, and everyone begins, packs in, and it's, like, standing room only inside the, uh, uh, he actually takes everyone to the, uh, gymnasium, the gymnasium, which is a larger area, you guys have been here before, uh, a quick count, you would guess there's 200 people here. How much is that in known population of vampires in Rome? Is it nearly everyone or as, as majority? Everyone that you know is here. And there's a, a huge number of unfamiliar faces. Do, do, I, do I see... Um, what was his name? I want to quickly check it. Uh, do I see Carmen as well? Carmon? Um, roll high or low. Do you want, do you want high or low? Uh, high. It's been low so far, so I go... Fuck. Nope, he's not here. Okay. Does, does that seem to be a general demeanor to us, towards us as a coterie? Um, everyone's confused. Okay, but they aren't all immediately saying... They aren't all immediately... They're not saying, fuck these at. guys. No. Yeah. yeah. They are not staying at us either, like, pointing at us and all that. Um, <clears throat> he steps up, he gets on the bleachers, the rostra, the impromptu rostra, I should say. And he says, uh, <clears throat> some loyal subjects of Rome uh, stepped forth and told us of a uh, potential assault on our sovereignty and our loyalty to this city and to the idea of Rome, to the very ideals upon which, uh, which provide you with safe herd safe havens, uh, opportunities to while the nights away and, and your many hobbies, to educate yourselves, to make friends. Any canine found supporting this insurrection will have 24 hours to vacate the city, after which time you will be under the effect of an open hunt. Any canine found under the effect of the open hunt is to be staked and brought before me for punishment. If you diablerize this person, this canite, you will inherit the blood hunt. If you kill, instead to kill this um, canite under the hunt, you will owe me a life boon in recompense. However, if you su successfully succeed in bringing me the fugitive, you will inherit all of their assets. Is that clear to everyone? Yes, if he's waiting for us, we nod. Yes, my friends. Yeah. No, nobody says, oh, I got a fucking question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, guys, did you did you hear what he said? If you bring it safe, play, we will inherit all of this stuff. Shit, son. Shit. It's open. It's free as day. Lovey and I will give her usual uh, wow. polite nod. In. So, so, someone just goes, wait a minute. I, I was just going to get myself washed. What the fuck is all this? <laughs> okay, there, there are some people who has no idea why everyone is here and then that Chris is. This, this speech. Uh, nice. I mean, wait, vampires are real? What the fuck? 
So while 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 this is happening, when when uh, this the prince or the sheriff like uh, for a few second glimpse at us or anything in the crowd or um they don't really cast a second glance at you guys. An acknowledgement of our existence in this place. No, right? Nobody cares. <laughs> okay. Ouch. It hurts my feelings. Uh. Cool. I mean. Does people leave after that speech? Do they stay? Camilla steps down. Nobody, nobody wants is. Nobody appears to have any uh, questions or issues. <coughs> he steps down, and they begin to depart. Okay. Well, guys, I told you. Oh, <coughs> I whispered that. I don't say that out loud. <laughs> Let's. Well, it seems like the big spectacle happened. I think we should return to our havens. Uh, I need some it, nourishment. It might be worth hanging around a little longer than anyone else, just in case they do wish to speak to us in private. And I, I have time to spare. I can wait a little longer. Also, we should probably consider um, sticking close to ourselves. Because we've just been painted a target on our backs? Not really. Thanks to um, consideration of our prince, uh, he did decided to keep these individuals who was loyal to Rome a secret, uh, mm. whomever they might be. What if only we got the letter? Well, the letters went out, we know that much. I do oh, think right. You're, I do you're, think... you're correct. Mm -hmm. yeah. I forgot about that. Oh, sorry, what did the uh, no. say? Nonetheless, uh, unless we're the only ones not attending. Well, so long, so long as we take care, we should be, we should be able to manage ourselves. Yes, indeed. Uh, I mean, we already... We already decided to be on, you know, high alert just because of all the conflict and other mm -hmm. stuff that happened. There's not really more we can do if other people also want to stab us. Uh, like this is this is the best we can do. Like you know, uh, what I'm curious about. Um, does he have a specific list of who he knows are in on the plot? Who? Who do you mean? Camillus. Probably. I don't think he does, considering that he listed no names. And usually you list names during a blood hunt. I mean, he, they might be su suspecting that there is actually a large amount of people who wish to uh, participate in this uh, heresy, to make it sound more dramatic. Mm -hmm. I'm, uh, I'm just wondering if there are going to be people taking the opportunity to try and do some framing. Oh, yeah. Listen, if if I gave you a gun, loaded gun, and if I told you that you can shoot whomever you want with this gun, would you not take that opportunity to shoot someone you really want to shoot? What are these guns you speak of? It's... I was going to say, uh, we, could, we could probably uh, replace gun with bow and arrow or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, either case, you, you get to my point. Uh, listen, yeah. there will be framings, there will be schemes, so some people will try to take advantage of this. I think that we, as the loyal and uh, considering uh, kinders of the Rome, take this opportunity given to us and catch some of those people to participating in this uh, cop hoop and uh, try to catch them. The reward is very pleasant. I think we should take the opportunity. Just make sure not to accidentally kill any. Oh, don't worry. I can't do many stuff, but uh, killing is Definitely not one of my priorities when it comes to dealing with people. 
Uh, I leave that to some other people. Mm -hmm. Um, how do you plan on finding them? Uh, I thought that you would also would like uh, would like to participate in this hunt, or are you not interested? I ask, how do you how do you intend to find them? Though? Oh well, see, I'm not an empty person. I know kindreds. I have some social circles, and words will be spreading around, certainly. It's a matter of time to get what we need. Between all of us, between all the connections all of us have, I mean kindred connections, I'm sure that eventually we will find what we wish for. Perhaps. Sooner is better than later, but uh, eventually it will happen. We have to assume that they expected this to come out. Oh, they certainly did. I mean, the letter sounded as if there was already a relatively large crowd. And this, this you know what's my honest feeling? My honest feeling is that they've been getting ready. And... Once they achieved a certain uh, preparations, they decided to send these letters. That's my oh. first instinctive feelings. So the reason we got this letter is probably they achieved a certain success. And now they are certain that taking this risk will not be a suicidal decision on their part. So we can probably confidently assume that this happening is not really a, too much of a surprise for them or neither a reason for them to be really worried. This might actually be this might actually be a case of, you know, uh, they were going to be revealed sooner. They just decided that the, the risk reward was worth taking. We will have to see. Also, oh. why do I hear pop music? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Never mind. I was just knowing that how dramatic the music currently sounds. Ah, oh, okay. Um, just out of character there, Chris. Um, the the man that uh, was in inverted commas holding the note uh, when we got it. What? I presume the body itself would have been um, disposed of by now. But I suppose, um, regardless of that, Lubian is kind of had a thought to try and garner more information about perhaps the whereabouts of Critias by attempting what was it uh, call of the hungry dead to see if she might be able to hear yeah the, the rituals the spirit itself lingered around that's more of a harassment ritual than it is getting information is it? No, okay. Oh yeah. At least, okay. at least in terms of reliable users. Mm, fair you, enough. You can get info from it, but only in specific scenarios. Um, once we wait like for one hour or something, and once like most of the people, the majority of people leave this place, does anyone like approach to us, or uh, does Prince send someone after us, or is it seem like us waiting here? does not really serve any purpose. It was a meeting, so he uh, didn't have to repeat himself. Double check. Uh, okay, I, I suppose the question was how everyone reacted and were there any people who seemed on edge, agitated, or afraid when oh, he declared that? All right. You guys should have used our specs too. Perception <sighs> plus politics, please. And uh, is it Everyone possible? Has... Is it also possible to use Auspex 2 in kind of sweeping manner, or is it just well, like... Auspex okay, 2 let's... will reveal agitation. That's all it's uh, going okay. to reveal. Um... Which can be... Which can mean nothing. Exactly. Politics plus what? Uh, perception, perception plus politics. Okay. Okay, it does actually state that um, Call of the Hungry Dead uh, is used to communicate across the shroud or to gaslight arrival. 
Okay. The issue is being the specific ghost. You will have to travel to Nicodemus's domain. You're going to have to go to the island to cast the ritual to perhaps, and then sort through the ghosts, and hopefully the man who died it made it yeah. to be a spirit. Because that's yeah, definitely yeah, not a, a guarantee. That's a long shot. Yeah, that's a long yeah. shot. Uh, as I said, it can it 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 can be used for info gathering purposes, but mostly in situations where you know a specific wraith is in a specific place. I mean, listen. Uh, let's see what happens, and if you have time enough, and you can waste some time enough, why not try it? But at, at this moment, I think we should try to find some other options first, or do some other things before actually trying to pull that off might need you in some other situation. That's true. Are, are, are you going to make the politics wrong? Okay. Um, oh, uh, we're all doing it? Okay. If you wanted to. Uh, there's plenty of people who are upset and um, maybe a little scared, looking around, they're unsure, but there's nothing there to like, that's a fucking traitor! Yeah, yeah. Uh, upset as in like uh, as in like is somebody gonna going to accuse me um am i in danger um if we have a revolution you know it, are they gonna roll over me and, and like burn my haven down yeah oh, okay okay i understand so people are pretty much thinking about themselves like yeah, okay makes sense so it was intelligence politics perception perception politics perception politics okay um Standard diff? Six. Yep, standard diff. Yep. Okay. Yeah, there's plenty of people worried and scared, but nothing that's where anybody's like, we should follow that guy. Okay, okay. Um, among, among our, how to say, not really am I, because this just wasn't really interacting with most of the kindred Coterie did before, but uh, those that we are uh, allies in court, um, did some of them look like, I don't know, happy, like, ooh, nice, an opportunity to, you know, get some rewards. Like, you know, is, 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 um, does yep. there seem to be... Plenty of neonates are, uh, are perceive a opportunity to um, get a head start. Okay, okay, so there, there's definitely going to be competition going on. Huh. I mean, beyond? Okay, so beyond trying to find people that is helping with this coup and capturing them and delivering them to the sheriff beyond getting that reward we could actually try to get some of those neonates under our wig promise of all the shit they can win out of this like you know hey you need to get a head start i help you and then you serve us in exchange we can actually try to get an extra edge from that aspect as well we don't really need to just find people uh, betraying the city we can try to convince people that is trying to take advantage of this crisis right. um and take Albana, advantage of them um albana somebody's catching your eye larthia curvanus is catching your eye wants to talk to you in private giving you the the look i'm not going to approach her knowing that she Arthia has a major boom on her. Mm -hmm. Do you say anything to us before you leave us? She's just going to uh, get the attention of the rest of the country. Oh god, that would be awkward if it turns out that the satellites were in on it and I've accidentally <laughs> betrayed my clan. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsie. Uh, uh, do, you, do you want to go alone or do you want others to be with you? Just uh... do as you desire. The depth that I have is with her. It's not the depth that any of you have. That oh no, it's 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 not about the depth. It's more about that if you if you, you know, if you want to be feeling a little safer having a to remember yeah. with you, you know, just in case she tries to pull something. Are you are you really gonna insult her like that? No, I'm I'm not saying that in, in character. It's as out of character. Just explain. Yeah, because if you're doing it in character, that's majorly fucking insulting. Yeah, no, no. I, this is his adventure. He's not going to say that, of course. <laughs> I do not believe Larcha would seek to do me harm. Okay, okay, okay. I was just checking. Uh, sure, you, you do your thing while we discuss more. 
approaches the gangrel. Um, she pulls you aside to where nobody can overhear you. Um, be right back. All right. She says, uh, she says, you've heard the announcement. You understood it? Yes. I would consider it repayment of the boon you owe me if you succeed in framing uh, the child of Hakim, um, Golzar Shadi. What do I know about this Golzar Shadi? Uh, Golzar, humanity, kindred, um, lots of connections with the Weaving District. Um, he is a Falcon trainer. Um, not much else. You guys don't really run in the same circles. It wasn't, wasn't he... Uh, with us in cartridge captured? No, that was another SMI? No, no. He was already a prisoner there. He wasn't captured with you. Okay, but I thought we had like a little bit of interaction. A little bit. Cartridge. A little bit. Okay. She raised an eyebrow to hearing that. She looks around, makes sure that they are not being overheard. Before she steps a bit closer, now knowing that they need to keep these private between them. If I may ask. What has made you want to have him be a friend? You can ask. It, it's private. We just want him framed. We want, we want incontrovertible proof. Is it a major boon you owe? Yes. Oh. Open oh, Ethics a bit, taking notes of the way how she used the word we, which must suggest that perhaps, um, uh, fuck, I forgot his name again. <laughs> Golzar. I almost, that perhaps I almost is behind this. Since she's the way the word we, so I guess she's not alone on wanting him framed. She nods. Very well. I will do my best to see him framed. When the proof comes out, the boon is fulfilled. Is there anything else that you'd like to discuss, Larger? No. No, I, I don't believe so. She nods, giving her a respectful no yeah. uh, uh, respectfully. L Larthia Larthia is a is a gangrel of few words, doesn't uh doesn't doesn't do well with small talk. Not like the Ventru. <laughs> Isn't that like all of the Gangria? No, the vast majority of them, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Respectful nod and rejoins the cutter. Okay. Uh, I will. Well, you know, I'm not going to ask it now. I will ask it once we're in the group haven. Um, all is well. It is. Okay. It is as I expected. Uh, Last year was just to call her the boom. I understand. Um, it looks like no one will be trying to meet with us other than her. Now, I guess we can make wait another 10 minutes or something, but I feel like uh, it will just be a waste of time. I do suggest that we return to the group. Yeah, if, 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 if by this point it looks like the, if at this point it looks like no one's like all interested in us and we'll just leave listen i will be going for some nourishment if anyone wants to join me uh feel free to sorry Laviana, i sadly cannot have you with me because of the way i simply prefer to hunt it would really draw too much attention to you and to myself i think we've been manipulated <laughs> <sighs> what do you mean you've been manipulated? We have been manipulated. What? Look look what's going on. Everyone's going to Oh okay, sorry, I cannot say this in character. I mean I mean you think everyone that's... is going the city is going to turn against itself, that the city is yeah. going to destroy itself from the inside. Uh this was some this was actually something I considered out of character actually. The, yeah, this I mean listen, this might be like uh 
oh, I pulled this stuff, and then you go like, no, I pulled this stuff, and you go like, no, I pulled this stuff. Like, I know your plan. No, I know your plan. Like, I, I know you know my plan, so I know your plan, or something like that. It might be a situation like this, or it might not. Uh, but honestly, between all the civil war discussions that we had, and all the shit that happened, and uh, honestly, the, the way Agatha is, no, I don't think this is, you know, uh, playing the, you know, 4D chest or something like that. I don't think this is the case. So. Right. I think that will be entering the world of paranoia. If, we, if you really think about this happening, like, okay, we will just frame these people, make them believe that this is going on, but it's not actually going on, so they will now frame each other, and now the Roman kindreds will kill each other. And Regardless. Regardless. Um, on your way out the door, Sorry, uh, one of Alexander's well-known messengers um, comes up to you and tells you that he expects to see you in about a week, and he tells you where uh, for a performance. Okay. Obviously, he gives sure. no shits about this. He has That's, other he has uh, other important no. events on his mind. Uh, understandable. Yeah. He doesn't give a shit about politics. Is so, hashtag yeah. Toriado. <laughs> He's a ventro. He's a ventro. He's a ventro. He's, he's, though, oh, wow. though, though, in universe, a lot of people do actually mistake him for a Toreador later on. Yeah. I mean, honestly, <laughs> the fact you kidding. called him Toreador just, you know, means that he's successful what he is doing. That gives him a like, warm and fuzzy feeling. <laughs> yeah. It's like, ah, oh, please, say it again. <laughs> uh, yeah. okay. Uh, this year's will go hunt in his room in one more time before joining the group. Uh, he will again ask the group if anyone in the country other than Labiana because of her f clan weakness uh, would like oh, to yeah. join him with the hunt. You know what, sure, I am running low again. Okay, sure. As, as long as you do not kill anyone, you know, just mm -hmm. play safe, kill no one, and keep the mask great, you will be safe. I think back to my very last uh, hunt, but um, not my head. Yeah, so... <laughs> You, I mean, you also get, does Volt Head Ships would also get the lower difficulty because he's hunting in yep, my domain. With your permission, he's hunting with your permission. Yes. Um, Decius, uh, there is a note waiting for you that what they did not give a chance to deliver to you when you woke up. It's from one of your allies, telling you that uh, uh, begging for you to turn yourself in. Um, that. Uh, Marcus uh, Scourus is closing in on you. Okay. Uh, I will keep that in note. Well, this is, we'll just meet with the guy. He's saying that pretty much, right? Uh, either case, I will do that. That's the plan. But uh, before before we go and do that, I mean, let's hunt first. All right. Go hunt. Give me a hunting roll. Um, as they're out doing that... Um, and I'm going to do that, and then we're going to run Decius is uh, going to talk to the politician scene. Anything else you guys have that's super important that you want to do? I'm going to start working on framing this um, Asamai. She's going to uh, look back to the time that she was in Carthage and that she had access to the uh, religious writings, and she's going to try to make copies of them. Okay. Um, it's going to take you some time, but uh, you can definitely make copies. So that's the first part of your plan. Uh, you're going to be begin making those copies. Uh, yeah. I will be also, right back. Right, yeah. Also copy some of the stuff that she saw in the Tophets. Copy stuff that would be an uncovered in a cubicle associated with Carthage. Okay. Um, give me a intelligence and aware, um, alertness or awareness, whichever's whichever's better, to uh, accurately recall some of the glyphs and the uh, inscriptions. Could I make it theology? Um, theology will give you the standard stuff that you saw in the temples. The Tophets are going to require... Uh, you can do a cult. You can do a cult at Diff 8, or the other rolls at Diff 6. 
<laughs> Fuck so, you. I'm choice. going to do... <laughs> I'm going to do our enemies at D6. I'm going to use Aru Power. Okay. Alright, um... Hatchips, uh, since you got a chance to hunt on his domain, um, Decius has a uh, brothel. A pretty well-appointed, well-off brothel. It reminds you quite a bit of the one that you found Sulla in the days you seduced him in his uh, teenage years. You, you say it reminds me. I'm going to pause a moment when, it, when I get the memory. Is it the same place? It is not the same place. Okay, good. Um, Got so I, uh, got one, that's so I'm gonna take two blood, you know, keeping it safe. Right. Okay. So, um, we're gonna say you wait till the next evening to get a willpower point back if you spent one. Um, so, uh, I think we decided that uh, Labiana will, sorry, not Labiana, Albina will uh, say that he has issues and we shall meet in the location um, and we shall be prepared to dominate and visit. And I think the whole gang will be there. But like Albina right. and me will be there, but the rest of So how are you guys running this? Albina's gonna you're gonna do the fake prisoner, Albina, I found him. Yeah, I, I yeah, yeah, pretty much and then the you know, uh maybe head ships will be there too, or sorry, Nicodemus will be there too, but the uh, rest of the group will hide. You you tell uh, me. You guys tell me who's there. Okay. Okay. I'm Albina. there. Albina is there. Head oh, is there, I don't is that ship up there? Would you prefer I be there? Uh, sure, I'm okay with you being there. If you're okay with being there. Um, well, if if you don't specifically wish for me to be there, I might just uh, say, you know, best maybe maybe not put all our eggs in one basket in case you know. Yeah, sure, I understand. Okay, and uh, Levian is not there as well, right? No. Okay, is Nicodemus there? Um, Nicodemus can be there, uh, either hidden or in person. Yeah, if, if you, whichever, if you... whichever you prefer, maybe we should bring some guards to make it more visible. Yeah. I, uh, I can tell uh, Lucius and uh, Titus to act like the bodyguards of Albina, pretty much. Uh, that's not okay. So Nicodemus will be there. Uh, will be, uh, hold, uh, hold, on, hold on, hold on. That's not, that's not entirely a good idea. They've been seen and will be recognized as your bodyguards. Yeah. It's okay. really best nice. to have some of um, Hatshepsut's men work as my servants, my bodyguards. Would that be okay with you, Hatshepsut? I'm willing, I'm willing to um, request that they go with her on, on this occasion. Okay, thank you. So, uh, we get the bodyguard act like that with the with Hatshepsut's help. Mm. Uh, I'll act like the prisoner. Albina is the one who captured me. Nicodemus, let's say you are obfuscated, hidden, and you, you, let's say you use our specs to see if there is any hidden other kindred spying on us. So you are pretty yeah. much there to just, you know, help us if something goes bad, and if there is anyone spying on us, just to be sure. Uh, sure. Okay. Sounds good. Would I, be, would I be able to use Ahamuri of the Abyss to make myself a uh, robes? Uh, shadow robes that would look like the real thing. Um, not that look like the real thing. They, well, at least not in not in good light. Um, in, on a dark street or a dark woods, sure, but uh, not um, where you're not going. In the yeah, not not yeah. showing up like the way you are here. And I suppose I. Could I take some down something that goes underneath my normal robes? Yeah, I think you could get away with that. Like a night cowl kind of thing. A bit of lingerie. Okay. <laughs> as, an, as an extra effect, Chris, uh, this is will wear um, 
rather damaged clothing to look extra like a prisoner. Uh, so you will essentially put makeup and all that stuff to look more like a prisoner. To put a better act. To look more convincing. Like he gets, you know, he got beaten and all that stuff. Okay. Alright, so... You guys roll up to his, uh, to the appointed area where they basically said to drop him off or deliver him, deliver information. And there's a bunch of people there. Um, just like at his house, as soon as you guys walk up, fucking dogs start going crazy. Barking, rawr, 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 fucking drool slobber flying off of their jaws. Fucking handlers are like, oh, holding them back. They do not. I do not like you guys at all, except for Hatchetsit. She's cool. Um, mm. Is it possible to keep away from a distance? Um, yes, you can okay. because they're occupied with the visible vampires. So that the works dogs, out well right? for you. <laughs> okay, so I guess I guess it means we'll keep close and. Uh... Okay, at a respectable distance, but using uh, some vampires as distraction. Yeah, you are obfuscated. They can't see you. Mm -hmm. The others, Albina, Hatshepsut, and Decius, are not obfuscated. Uh, that would defeat the purpose of this. So, I, I, thought, I thought we established that I wasn't at, at oh, the floor. I thought you were. Okay, never mind then. It's just Albina and Decius. And, and uh, Hatshepsut's uh, bodyguard. Yeah. Right. My one of my goals is that. Yes, act as the bodyguard of. Uh, man comes out and he says, uh, "He's like, well, what what did you guys want?" There is a bounty for this one. One of ah. my guides is able to capture him. So there is. Uh, am I in the presence of only one person right now? No, there's a bunch. Okay, is the main guy there as well? The politician? No. Um, the guy, uh, pulls a bag off of his belt, he hefts it, you can hear the little clink, 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 and, uh, he tosses it to Albina through the air. Albina grabs it, she it, opens it and starts doing a rough counting of the coin inside. It, uh, it is the amount promised, uh, 15 pieces of silver, as promised. An extremely rich bounty. She nods, looking satisfied, and she puts the coin between uh, the coin back within her robes. You can leave him here. Thank you. You, you should. I think we would agree that you do not leave this, year, so you will like, try to push on. We'll I take it from here. To... Have a good evening. And he points towards the gate. When we know what, we can turn into shadow and return. Tower. And uh, Dicodemus is obfuscated, so he can sneak in after us. Oh, with a nod, so she uh, motions to her bodyguard to let to push the guy to push uh, Decius yes. yes. Yeah. So the guard, Decius, the guard takes you by the seat of your pants and uh, and your throat, and he does the whole eat dirt, motherfucker, and shoves you into the face down onto, onto the ground, and uh, kicks you in the derriere on your way down. However I might hate this, I will put on the egg just to not betray the spirit of this plan and not to betray my country members. I have their trust on my on me. Yeah. Um, Play with it. So as Albana, as you and the uh, bodyguard walk out the gate, um, you catch a, out of the corner of your eye, um, clubs are coming out, and the men are closing in on Decius, and they're beginning to beat the fuck out of him. Now, before, before they... Actually, beat the fuck out of me. Uh, I will use, I will use R. Activate R. Okay. You activate all. Oh, okay. Spend a blood point. Roll charisma plus performance. Difficulty seven. Three sex Let me check out which person right. You affect six people in the vicinity. 
You don't know that, but you do affect six. Yeah. How many are there total? Um, it is hard to tell from your position on the ground eating dirt. Okay. Uh, I will. I will. Uh, my the, the, the what is it called? Uh, impression I choose is uh, convincing. It's the impression I want to give. Convincing. Okay. All right. Well, um, you start absorbing kicks to the ribs. Uh, some people take the clubs out and they begin beating you along your spine and back and the back of your legs. Um, this is just to soften you up. Yeah. Uh, I, and while they are kicking me, I will try to like speak uh, and I will try to say that, <clears throat> listen, can we, can we not do this in a more civilized yeah. manner? Talk first. Yeah. Before and so, and so, somebody delivers the kick right in your diaphragm. Whack! Can, can I make a roll? Um, you are from this combined assault. You're going to take two bashing. Uh, okay, so I cannot soak. This, this is a constant combined assault. Okay. All right, you're going to take two bashing. Um, if you were a human, you would have had broken bones, uh, some cracked ribs. Um, you, you'd probably have trouble walking for a good long time. This is barely an inconvenience to you. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, understandable. Uh, can I can I make the rule like the just to slow okay. them down a little bit? Uh, and the dogs are still like trying to get a chunk of your ass. Um, the handlers are actually holding them back, while other guys are beating on you. Okay. All right. So the man says, "That's enough. That's enough." Pick him up. Uh, two guys grab you by the arms and like haul you up, um, just like halfway, and begin dragging you along the ground into the building. Um, sure. I, I trust that uh, Albin and Nicodemus will be using their abilities to see me as well. Uh, I do not read this yet. I'm, I'm but... while they're dragging me, I'm still trying to say like, let's you know, uh, let's try to be more like. Calm down and something like that. They're like try to try to like make it less severe for myself. Essentially, I'm trying to sweet it down a little bit, not overtly, yeah. just subtly. Now they so they drag you into this um, into the villa, the richly appointed villa you see before you, um, with the uh, marble inlays and the fountain pool, um, mosaic tile pattern floor, artwork on the walls, gold, silver. Um, exquisitely worked chests of uh, excellent wood uh, carpentry, um, rugs, carpets on the ground, and um, Marcus uh, Scalius or Scalus, Marcus Aemilius Scalus, is sitting there um, on a stool, um, eating some grapes, drinking some wine, and uh, they haul you in and throw you in a heap on the ground. <laughs> and you thought, oh! Uh, Nicodemus, of course, keeping up easily. Um, Albina, in her shadow form, uh, drifts over the top of the wall and hangs out in a ball at the ceiling. Um, the dogs are still, like, going fucking crazy. And two of them stay, the rest uh, leave. So it's two men with dogs... Um, and the main, uh, the guy who came out to give Alba the money and, uh, four other guards, four Did big they, bruisers. Six, seven. Did they stay or leave? So there's eight humans in the room at the moment, eight humans, two dogs, and three vampires. Um, um, by the way, does Nicodemus do you think he does with the DNA or Fire? Huh? Yes. Go ahead and roll. Awesome. Roll your aspects. Just my aspects? Yep. Perce perception empathy. Perception empathy. Plus, uh, okay. Yep. Perception empathy. Or a sight. Perception empathy. That would be eight. seven. Dif diff eight. Would diff eight. Okay. Yep. Book difficulty. No vampires, just just you, just the three of you. Okay. 
Yeah, I think we will establish some right. kind of... So they, they, they throw you on the ground. And uh, Marcus leans forward and he says, uh, So they had to hunt you down like a dog. Does he let me get up, or am I still? Well, well you're you right now. You're on your your face. Right now, you're on your face. Okay. I will uh, stay silent and wait uh, for him to speak further to hear what he will say. So you don't answer. He says, "Where are my plays? Where are my speeches? Where is my treasures?" I, I want to try it all again. Because I, before before I actually do magister or anything, I want to try to do this. I, uh, or stop. I will try to roll. I will roll, roll for all. Okay, go for it. Your audience has changed. Right. You don't you don't know how many he succeeded by. Yes, yes, that's true. Um, um, the only person, the only man that you have eyes for, I won't say the only one you can see. The only one you care about appears unconcerned. Okay, that's okay. Um, I will try to say that uh, I. There must be a misunderstanding. I do not understand why this is necessary. He makes a gesture, and uh, one of the big brutes comes up and kicks you in the ribs again. Okay. Where is my stuff? Um, this is will get his left, get his right, get man, and we'll just give this, even if he's a Vampire, he will, he will give this um, will exhale. And we'll say, uh, he intern internally, he will think that uh, he really did not want things to turn to this. Uh, and then he will activate uh, Majesty. Okay, will, you activate uh, Majesty. Uh, everyone, Albana, Nicodemus, everyone in the room is affected. Um, if Nicodemus and Albany would like to resist it, you may spend a point of willpower and attempt to resist it. Everybody else Ooh. sees Decius as an injured god. I will give a try to resist it. It is willpower difficulty 8, right? Spend a point of willpower, roll your remaining at difficulty 8. Sure. Nice. My foot is really getting cold. All right. Albana, it is a horrendous effort for you not to assume physical form and rush to his aid. Um, Nicodemus, with three successes, um, you've seen this trick before. You know what it is. Um, you find it's still a, it's still an effort. You still have to struggle hard not to fall on your knees, rush to his aid, do whatever. But um, you're like, I got a more important job to do right now. Um, with that, uh, I will try to do a lot. Of, uh, right. what well, we discussed hang before. on a moment. Oh. As as all the other mortals drop to their knees in awe at your sudden, almost divinity. Um, you put kings to shame. You put consoles to shame. You, you, you've done this to a man who's used to, who's used to stepping over consoles, and, and you are to him as he is to, the, to them. Um, people, you hear that people crash to their knees, and they let the dogs go from grips that are suddenly slack in awe at your presence, and the dogs rush up to you and begin biting the fuck out of you, attacking you. Okay. 
All right, uh, dogs have initiative. Surprise attack. Okay. Yeah. Typical but and uh, okay do you there. want patrol initiative you want patrol initiative all right no i don't want you to roll initiative at the moment um one of whom grabs your clothes and starts shaking real hard doesn't doesn't really get a good grip um the other one jumps right on your back and starts uh and, and gets a big freaking chunk of, of your arm and your shoulder it was going for your neck, get your arm and shoulder. And start and starts doing that whole dog. Jaws locked down, clamp and, and going. Okay. Alright. Um, soak three bashing for me. And it is dragging you uh, across the floor. Uh, I need the three of you guys to roll initiative. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, do you want me to roll initiative? Yes, I do. Just so I know which of the three of you are going first, second, and third. Okay, right. Uh, oh. All right, Decius, you're going first by a lot. Uh, I will stay. Uh, not, I will not cream. I will stay just you now for people in this room here. Uh, get a grip on these dogs. Control them. Then I will try to get out from the grapple of the dog who's trying to. Okay, you are attempting to get out of the grapple. You're fighting yeah, back. I'm, I'm also, oh, yeah, I'm also ordering people to, you know. Uh, All right. Me. So what happens is. Without rolling a combat roll here, the room erupts into mass confusion. A couple of guys try to grab the dogs and pull them off. Several more shake off the uh, majesty as you begin fighting back against the dogs. Uh, and there's there's a moment, a few seconds of, of just mass pandemonium as nobody understands what the hell just happened. Uh, the main politician is running away. Vorpal, uh, or sorry, Nicodemus, would you like to stop this man? Uh, so I assume he's going for an exit, right? Yeah, he's getting he's getting out of dodge. He he, he's an old man, and he ain't he ain't going for a fight. Uh, okay, correct. Uh, yeah, let's try to stop him, preferably without looking at him. So I don't know. Let's trip him, and oh, he's an old man. Let's not kill him. Uh. Yeah, let's try to uh, get a jump on him and, uh, like, subdue him. All right. Uh, give me a strength brawl roll. Uh, gonna boost my strength for that. He may be an old man, but I'm a very, um, not very strong vampire. Uh, brawl. Yeah, you, uh... Uh, he turns to run um, in an ungainly, undignified manner, uh, picks his uh, clothes up, hops over the little stool he was sitting on, runs for the exit, and you literally appear out of nowhere and just pick him up uh, on your shoulder, and uh, you have him in a bundle over your shoulder, and he's like, No, oh, let me go, let me go, it's a monster. You are, ah, I'm Senatus Principus Marcus Scalius. You can't do this to me, let me go. And he's like, and you're just like, oh, whatever, dude, shut up. Just uh, gonna carry him back, set him back on a, on a... Yeah, he, he's struggling hard. No, he can't, don't. he can't, he cannot escape from your grip. Old man, strength of one. Is it possible to, in, in this confusion, to put on a, a mask uh, through Mask of Thousand Faces? Um, that's an actual action because you got to sit there and concentrate about it. Um, yeah. Uh, let's say it could be either while carrying him, because I assume that would be a second action, or, right or when he's. Or, yeah, or right before. Yeah. Go ahead. You can roll it as you were preparing for this to happen. You could have uh, put the mask on. Okay. Just gonna p put something to look different. 
Yeah. It doesn't matter what it is. It could be just a a, a normal um, uh, mug of a thug from like I don't know. Right. The bureau or someplace. Um, uh, let me find. Go ahead. Power on our... Oh, but now what would you like to do in this mass confusion? Uh, do, do you want to exercise this mind to stroke off the majesty completely, or is that something that uh, does she only brought herself a turn off uh, freedom? You just need one success to resist. Okay. Um, you resist. His majesty is now gone. The minute he started fighting back, it went away. Okay. Uh, uh, wait, I was fighting back the dog. Not yes, the dog. but you started fighting anything. Oh, okay. You yeah, took okay, an you took an aggressive know. action that broke it. Okay, okay. Yeah, I, I wasn't aware. Okay, that's a good uh, thing to remember. Okay. Uh, shit. She, she's going to keep watch for now on her position. She's going to be ready to in case she needs to move in to uh, follow uh, Decius, but for now she's not going to do anything. She's going to remain on the on the seal. All right, that's fine. Um, so, uh, Albina's maintaining her position. There's a mass pandemonium, as like I said, as Nicodemus just appears, snags the uh, uh, politician up, puts him on his shoulder. He fights. He kicks. Um, his his old man feet and his old man fists are are no match against uh, Nicodemus's undead. Uh, power. Um, guys are getting into uh, guys got into a quick fist fight as they're trying to, to struggle against their own feelings. Um, the handlers are trying to pull their dogs off. Decius is fighting back. Get off me! Um, the dogs do not want to be pulled off. And Decius, by the way, all of your rolls are at plus one difficulty for having multiple opponents, which are two dogs. Um, yeah, sure. Um, soak six bashing for me. Um, you know what? Spending blood for the fortitude. Uh, I still have two dice to roll. Just give me a second because one of my hand is working. It's a bit slower than usual. Yeah, the dogs are, are tearing your ass up. Um... At least they would be if you had mortal flesh and not um, fortitude-powered undead flesh. Um, however, they might notice this in the confusion. I'll make this difficulty 9. Bro, really? Um, Is one success enough? One is enough. Uh... The handlers are trying to pull the dogs off, and you they're biting at your arm, at your face, at your shoulder, whatever. They can get their, their, their claws on and their teeth on. And uh, as they bite into your flesh, and it releases little bits of phosphorescence, so like it glows just a little bit um, as it rejects the damage. And the men see it, and they're like, they start screaming out, It's, it's a monster! It's, it's a monster! It's, it's a horrible... Horrible, Doug. Uh, it's a demon from from Hades. It's a, it's a demon from Pluto, sent 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 from the the gods of hell. Um, so they're starting to freak oh, out now. Boy. Like like holy shit, they're starting to freak out. Is it, uh, is it the top of the initiative? Oh, they they made pure, so they're not running away. Um, Decius, what are you doing? Uh, I think some so, damage control is required. Okay, so if I understand this right. Now, the first time I made the mistake, because that was a player mistake, not necessarily this year's mistake. But uh, I think this year's would know the answer of this question, but I will ask it to the other character, just to make sure. Um, they did not resist the Majesty. I attacked, and I therefore dropped the Majesty, right? Yeah, because you tried to shove the, throw the dogs yeah. off of you. So that means I can activate Majesty one more time, because they did not resist it. So they are not resistant to Majesty for the rest of the scene. Correct. Okay, this time I know that I should not do aggressive anything aggressive. So I will activate Majesty one more time. Okay, spend another willpower uh, point. Yes, and the blood. Um, then I will say to the men to help me get out from these dogs. 
and I'm not going to resist. The only resist I'm going to do is soaking damage. Okay. The dogs are still uh, ripping, biting, and tearing at you. Um, yes. Your clothes are getting shredded. That's that's okay. That's uh, I can. I'm not a god. I cannot stop everything. What Majesty says otherwise. Hey, listen. If I was a god, I would just allowed it. Right, right at this moment, I was rolling tens all the time. Certainly, I'm not. All right. Um, uh, with a the the handlers grab hold of the dogs and they finally tear them both off of you. Um, however, one of them. Um, gets a, a good firm grip and all of the clothes on your torso tear off just and uh, get shredded off of you leaving uh, you standing there in your bare torso be, be witness to the big dick of Decius he's a true Italian he did say torso <laughs> yeah, I, hey, it's so big hey, it's part of it I have a Mishi girlfriend Ooh. You're not aware that Odysseus is a Mishi girlfriend, so... Yeah, so you're standing there in your bare chest. Um, uh, just just little remnants of shredded clothes, looking like freaking, you know, the Incredible Hulk TV show from the set, late 70s, early 80s. You know, when he, when, he, when he comes back down from being the Hulk and all he's got left is shreds on. And uh, these freaking animals are going crazy, barking, snapping, snarling. Their handlers are just got a hold of the dogs, uh, pulling them away from you. And you're standing there, and um, every Albana, I need you to roll your mag your Majesty resistance one more time. Actually, once you roll successfully to resist, it doesn't work for dread in VS. Well, you stopped it and you did it again. Okay. Sure, sure. And because she right. only had one success, I'm like, eh, needs it. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure. All that right. being said, okay. ain't nobody attacking you. Um, the handlers have the dogs, and they're, like, trying to pull them away. Everyone else is, star is either staring at you or they have fallen to their knees. Uh, that, if you are not in the initiative, uh, I would like to pull my, you know, Majestic plus Dominatrix combo to... Alter the memories of these people, uh, fix the mess I created, and get the fuck out. Oh, oh. Okay, so you're gonna need to roll. Well, I'm gonna have you roll dominate twice at the same difficulty, but if you succeed, you have done it to everybody. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm I'm content with that. Um, so Nicodemus is keeping an uh, eye, eye and an ear out. Um, strangely, nobody comes running to this. It's almost like they expected to hear yeah, sounds this, of violence I mean, and struggle. Yeah, this is like violence of dogs barking and ripping some stuff and people making sounds. So I think it's not really out of the picture kind of sound, actually. Yeah. Nothing out of the ordinary. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, I'm not going to tell you the difficulty. Just put whatever you want in it. Uh, no. Sure, sure. I will. Um, I will put four just because I like. Yeah, to see that's more fine. Um, it, it is wits seven. plus subterfuge. Okay. Um, it dominate two. Is it, is it like a custom roll or by the book? You were rolling forgetful mind. Okay. Okay. Um. And I cannot spend willpower for this, I assume. No, you cannot. Okay, which plus uh, subterfuge. And uh, because of the majesty, nobody's looking away. This guy, they get a willpower resistance. Hmm. Uh, also, I'm going to heal. Just, uh, okay. um, I'm going to heal only yeah. one. Thing, what 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 one. is your manipulation plus intimidation? Let me check. 
six total combined. Six, all right. Uh, all right, wits plus subterfuge. Yes, it's just taking a little longer, so. All right. Eight, eight, seven, six. And no. Okay. So, let's see. Going by the chart on the book. Do, 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 do. What memory for the first dominate role are you attempting to change or modify? Um. I wish to. First of all, this is this, what happened here is a mess. So I want to modify this memory, right? I want to uh, make this clear, or at least I want to change this memory. I'm not going to make it totally different thing. It's still going to resemble what happened here. I'm just going to change the key stuff, which is my identity. That's about it. And the supernatural stuff. I'm going to make the supernatural stuff uh, less supernatural. I'm going to be okay. this that's board, okay. That's fine. You have you have changed the memory. Um, that instead of being so supernaturally compelling and such as you were, it was merely um, mortal, uh, mortally convincing that you had nothing to do with it. Yeah. But, yeah. But it, 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 okay. All right. What's the second memory you're trying to change? Uh... This is not for the second group. This is for the second memory change. You, you said you're you're changing two memories. Yes, yes, I'm changing two memories. I was what? I was just thinking if you separated like two groups or if it's nope, the whole nope. group. What's this? What's the second memory? Okay, uh, the second memory is uh, the arrangement I had with the guy and like uh, you know the assassination thing and my identity. So I want the f guy to forget this use essentially. Okay. Uh, well, which subterfuge again? Okay. Yeah, uh, ten, nine, eight, seven, and six, I think. Okay. It's funny, you know, I, I got like every number of both sixes. And in, in, in like in the right order, in the, in the correct order. So it's, All right, um, you give him these um, dominate commands. Um, he appears exhausted. Uh, the effort, the, you go through, you dominate all the men. Um, the uh, old politician uh, basically leans up against one of the uh, richly appointed cabinets and um, holds his head like, oh... Oh God! What happened? Oh my God! I can't believe uh, Jupiter save us. Oh, this. What what happened tonight? This is awful. Um, you, you I mean, you know the drill. We did this before with the kid. Uh, I will, I will of course uh, arrange the right things so that we can leave this place without yep. like a. Or arising questions one more time yep, and that, that's, that's what the dominates for. You got out. Okay. Okay. That's my intention. <clears throat> um, then we will get out, yeah. Uh, but I will I will I will drop the majesty once I think it is safe. I won't I won't walk around the villa after getting out of this room with Majesty active. I will not have that. I don't want to get attention of the rest of the people in this whole building. So I drop the majesty once I think it is safe in this room. People will not attack me. I leave. Now yeah, nobody's attacking you. You're out of there. You guys are all out of there. Safe and sound. Um, no more combat. No no fighting. You're out. Great. Right. Uh, Nicodemus. Yeah. I know. This is a, this might be a weird question, uh, but this is my second experience with something happening, happening to my clothing. Would it be okay for you to just borrow your outfit for this time? 
Do we go back to the group haven? You can have my cloak. Thank you. And I will uh, <laughs> borrow uh, Nicodemus's cloak to just uh, cover myself as much as possible, try to recover some of my dignity that I've spread around like water. Okay. I think that's a good place to call for tonight. Um, great job, everybody. Uh, I like the ending uh, scene. I thought you guys did really well, had a really good plan. Um, and you handled yourselves excellently. Uh, I don't think it could have gone any better, honestly. Uh, if, if it isn't too early to reveal yet, were you expecting us to go with the take it to the prince approach? Um, the I had letter? both plans plotted out. Um, would you like to know what would have happened if you had gone? If, if that wouldn't spoil anything, then absolutely. No, it will not spoil anything. Um, Critias was there. And he was going to... Basically, I was going to have you guys engage in a form of social combat. Um, where the first person to reach however many willpower successes he's trying to reach. So, if you have six, if Critias reached six successes before you did, you either had to leave... Or you were convinced to join him. Oh, gee. It would be our first social combat, right? And uh, he was anyone who joined him. He was going to ask them to kill their patrons. Oh, oh, oh. Good not evening, the good Alexander. A, no a, as a show of loyalty and commitment to the loyalty. cause, kill your patrons. I think, I, think we do, right I think we take the good decision by going to the prince. Also, we got some extra loyalty points with detection, right? Well, I mean, all would have earned his all would have earned his respect. Yeah. As much as much as much for taking it like a champ as anything. Pretty much. Well, I'll be now. You yeah. find your. Because honestly, being an adventurer, why wouldn't you do the right thing and tell us? I mean, that's that's yeah, expected. That's, yeah, that's true. That's true. I um, understand. Yeah. It. I just, I, I, like it's it's like you know, uh, I don't know, like you know, it's the case of this is a normal thing. Like I'm not going to take you for doing the normal thing. It's a normal thing. Yeah, you know, something like that. Yeah. So one experience point for tonight. Uh, We'll pick up again in two weeks. Um, we'll do the meeting with Alexander. And we're going to then launch into the social war. Dun, dun, dun. Yep. And I think you guys are already getting an indication of how it's going to play out. Definitely. I wonder if the woman wants to back up. I feel like all the sh shit I wrote about Agatha to Chris, I feel like she is involved with this. But I mean, that's a meta knowledge. <laughs> so, so uh, on the next session, it will begin with a one week fast forward, right? Uh, about two weeks, yeah. What, what, one and a half, two weeks, something like I can't remember exactly what I told you guys. Yeah, a short fast forward. Okay. okay. <laughs> It won't be like a month. I won't get my experience back. That part yeah. hit me hard. Um, if you guys want to do something during the downtime, um, you can, of course, you know, write me over the Discord, and um, you know we can handle it that way, uh, or we can wait for game time. You, you know, whichever you're more comfortable with. Mm -hmm. I'm going to drop out. Right. Good session. Good night, right. guys. You. Thank you. All right. Good night. Well, thanks. Bye bye. All right. Bye. I was, I was just going to ask Chris. Just yeah, what's up? Okay. I'm reminding it. Uh, you remember that uh, this just will go to Alexander or Okay, there you have it, guys. Uh, that's our session. Uh, thanks for listening. Um, we will be launching into the social war. Uh, there's going to be backstabbing. There's going to be frame ups. There's going to be potential blood hunts, 
um, paybacks, uh, all kinds of good stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening. I hope you continue listening. And uh, I hope you guys all have a great evening.